I look kind of like an alligator, so I'm like sunbathing right now for sure. Like hit the water. Smile <laughs> just to piss someone off. Like a breeze comes by and shoves a ton of sand on you. And it's definitely not me using a cantrip, okay? <laughs> I don't think I can really do anything to him because I've got all mine would be very obvious that I'm doing something. Pretty dumb. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna risk that. Throw oh, a, a lob of wet sand at you. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not down for that. So I'm just gonna sit here and complain about how how can the humans enjoy this? Swamps back home are much better. A ball of wet sand and turn around and throw it at you and just go sand ball fight. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Come back to you guys having sandball fights. Probably oh, just blast it out of the air. You're good. <laughs> Not roll to you. Only. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at to make sure it's, it's off. I'll get it for You're you. Your cog. I rolled a 15. There you go. Oh, What's up? I hit you with a 15. Uh, I mean, unless I'm able to shoot it out of the sky like I had hoped. I don't. I mean, what do you? I don't know what you guys are doing. I'm <laughs> <You threw a laughs> just saying. Apparently, we're gonna always the whole game. adventure because we're gonna fight each other. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, if he's if you're if he's making a, chucking a sandball at you, you probably don't have the reaction to make a. No. Yeah, no, it, it would hit me then. I'm just gonna laugh. <laughs> I really miss the swamp now. I made myself a little ton of, like a shelter underneath my towel where I'm hiding <laughs> in there. Just my eyes are looking out at these guys. Wait, yeah, it's to probably... throw a sandball at somebody. Yeah, this sun probably hurt. Is is bad for you? No, I'm sunbathing. I was. Well, you have sunlight hypersensitivity, or whatever the hell it's called, as a kobold. Isn't that, isn't that a drow thing only? No, kobold has it too. Oh, I'm underneath oh. my towel now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At first, you forgot about that little bit, and he was just sunbathing. He was, was like, "All like, oh, right, I'm a something smells good." Oh crap, that's me. <laughs> It's just they're not you're not you're not used to being out in the sun. That's all because they're usually underground. Um, did you guys go over your, your names at all or no? We did that. Okay, cool, cool. So you know each other's um, name. Name is Gull. Gull. Change your names at the bottom and make it easier. Yeah, can do that. Can do that. Can't we? Um... Oh yeah, under the gear. And Zeph and Acker, you guys just so happen to have a, a name that, that worked out <laughs> with the first ah, letter. Two zip <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So as you guys are just kind of relaxing, you know, you're throwing sand at each other, or, you know, you jump and, you know, anything like that. Um, you guys start to hear like a, like a, some some noise kind of coming from the from the forest at the edge of the beach, and. Um, and you start hearing some what sounds like frantic bleeding like, <laughs> and uh bleeding bleeding b l e a t i n g oh, and next me. thing you know you guys see a sheep come <laughs> running out and keep you know head, running toward you guys just just frantically kind of 
and running balls to the wall toward you. Just it looks like, it looks like a cheap, fluffy white coat. It's got a black face and curled horns. Um, Throw a ball of wet sand at the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> I speed it up with my gust. <laughs> Yeah, I hate to interrupt. I yeah. find it really funny that you put my favorite enemy is giant. Yeah. And my favorite terrain is giant. <laughs> no, your favorite, your favorite terrain? Did you do that? What? <laughs> did, I, did I actually yeah, copy Yeah, you it? copy and paste the giant in my favorite terrain. So they are a lot bigger than I am. So. <laughs> um, it, should be, it should be forest, though. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, like the Whoops. <laughs> They're so big, they might as well be a terrain for you. I mean, exactly. yeah. They're, they're a terrain. Um, Fat, she's Zeph's favorite terrain. <laughs> oh, my God. And yeah, that that uh, sandball, he, the sheep tries to dodge it. You know, it sees it coming clearly, and but it's it kind of smacks it um, kind of on the side of the head. It just kind of shakes it off and keeps on coming toward you guys. Once it gets close enough, you notice um, it kind of looks kind of looks back and forth, and it's kind of in, more interested on a two and Risney. Uh, it's not one hundred percent sure which one of you guys it wants to go toward. Um, who's got the better Arcana skill? Uh, plus oh, three. So I, I have plus six. So um, wizards. It, yeah, it starts to walk toward you then, and. and um, no, you know what the hell is coming. It walks to you to, toward a two. <laughs> and, uh, That's and we already noticed, the shepherds this week. You notice that the um, it's got a scroll of some sort in its mouth. And it um, it kind of it's shaking its head at you, kind of kind of getting trying to get you to get get your attention to, you know, pay attention to the skull or the scroll. I will hesitantly reach out for the scroll. Okay. It it, it, it lets you take it. It wants you to take it. Mm-hmm. And it just kind of keeps on looking at you. Like I open the scroll. Okay. It looks to be... Uh, you reading it? Mm-hmm. So as, as you read it, you kind of... You start realizing it's a scroll of speak speak with animals, but slightly um, slightly different. Oh, okay. Um, and it's kind of it keeps on as you unscroll, you're you know you're looking at it and, and you're well, it's kind of naughty and keeps on you know bleating at you and bah, yeah yeah like wanting you to want you to read it. I am guessing you want me to use this. I mean, and to read it further. I yeah, think I can use this. Um, how are you reading it? What do you mean? How am I reading it? Are you reading it to everybody? Are you reading it to yourself? I'm probably reading it to myself. Okay, nothing seems to happen. I'll read it aloud then. There you go. As you read it aloud, you kind of see this magic kind of wash forward, and, and it it kind of encompasses all four of you. And um, you know, as, as the the uh, the the sheep is keeps on you know bleeding and get is getting excited getting excited and next thing you can start hearing is um yeah, yes yes yeah oh you, you, you can you can hear you can understand me now can you, can you guys hear me i immediately yeah. attack <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i'll restrain him like no 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 no. the sheep has smarts or something it has something for us would we be scared <laughs> if there were another sand ball at it are you uh, going to attack it? Is it uh, he's holding me back, so he's okay. a bit bigger <laughs> than I am. He just so. he just pops out of the ground, out of their saddle. I'm like, no. Okay. Yeah, yes. So you you guys you guys can hear me? Yes. Yes. Yes, we can hear you. At least I can. Um. And he so he, he just kind of. Oh. Oh, well, my, finally, some somebody that that might be able to help me. My my name is Fine Thier Shine Bright. Just just call me Shine Bright. Okay, Shine and, Bright. And and I I was a wizard, and, and I need some help. Are you uh-huh. guys, you think you, you might be able to help me? I mean, I I, I kind of figured I I know it seems like it's your day off and and whatnot, but I I, I just 
you guys look like you might be able to help me. Why, why would I, I do that? I, we always help those in need, no matter no, we the don't. personal cost. No. Yeah, we do. That's our motto. No. We are that's chaotic why. neutral. That's not what we do. <laughs> that's my, yeah. that's my ideal. That's not a chaotic neutral idea. <laughs> Read my traits. This is wonderful. Sorry, keep going. Uh, do you have you a coin purse in that wool somewhere? No, no, I don't have that. Um, but but I, if you guys help me, I can. You can have whatever you, whatever you want back at my place, and and I, it, it's all yours. And as right inside your home. home. You live in a See, barn, again, probably, right? What do I want to know? No, no, no. no You're I, a I, sheep. What do you even own, fine, 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 bright? No, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not a sheep. I'm. I, I've been changed. I've been changed, and at this point, um, I, I, there's, there's a, there's a magical artifact that, that some, that my apprentice, it, he just, he changed me like this, and, and. And sure, as he starts to kind of explain the story, you guys start hearing um, this like howling in the air, and um, you guys kind of see from from the same spot that the uh, that the sheep came from. <laughs> you uh, fuck, yeah. sorry. You see, uh, you, you know, you hear like say. Um, you start to hear like some heavy footfalls and uh, kind of come bursting out of the forest, I guess you can say. You have a couple things. The, the wolves are the, some shitty looking. They're great. Yeah, she would be a little further up. And then. If I see them see... coming, Atu would probably step to the front. Yeah, this is weird, too. I thought we picked the secluded beach. This is getting way too popular. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and as soon as he'd see them, he'd also cast. Uh, Mage armor at will. Better. So, um. Oh. <laughs> so here, so here's what you guys end up seeing coming. You can see uh, three wolves that seem to be collared and being held by um, by a huge looking half orc, and um, you also see kind of in the back, it looks to be uh, more like a like a dirty. A hulking figure that, that it's like a dirty brown cloak. Um, as it gets a little closer, you start to um, you notice that it does look like some type of some type of bear. And uh, this this half orc kind of just kinda comes staggering and, and swaggering toward you, and he just goes, "You, you sheep, you come with me. You, you I, I take what? care of sheep. You guys." You guys don't need to worry about the sheep. You don't look like a man who takes care of sheep. No, no, it's it's my master Nok sheep. He he has escaped, and and it is of great sentimental value to to my master. I'll look at the sheep and go. He says you are sheep, though. And the sheep, the, the sheep. No, no, no. I'm not a sheep. I'm not. He. he his master is the one that made me like this. He, 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 he's gonna take me back and and lock me back up and and as, as a sheep is, you know, he, all all that this half work is hearing is the, you know, the sheep go meh 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 meh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys are clearly hearing what he's saying, and um, the half work, no, no, he he come with me, and and. And and you guys enjoy your 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 uh, your beach and and he he'd be I'll take him out of your way. Just look to the others, real quick. Horn and just shake it and go like you're a sheep. Yeah, 
Just, just give me the sheep. <laughs> sheep, but sheep, sheep just kind of he says, no, no, don't, don't give them to me. Sheep, and can I start dragging the sheep to him? Because I don't really care for him. Sure, yeah. I will put an arm up like... I'm going to go, wait, wait, wait. You said you're a wizard? You, you have you have books, right? I love books. Are there books in your place? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Or whatever? There's books, there's everything, whatever you might want. And he looks at you, um, uh, Ghoul, and says, you you look like you look like you can eat. You look like you food, food, or, or what, what interests you? I have whatever, whatever you want. Sheep. I have it. Well, I, I have I like actual sheep. sheep. I have actual sheep at at, at my house. They, they they they're all yours. You save me, you take me back, and they're all yours. You can have as many I as you want. I, I'm not a sheep. If you were turned into a sheep. Maybe you don't have good books. No. Or could I, you have been? It's it's a magical, a powerful magical item that turns me into, and then uh, the half orc. No, you guys give me sheep now. I'm I'm getting tired of this talking. Sheep now. Or, or we're gonna we're gonna fight. I don't like it when people threaten myself or my compatriots. I don't deal with people who talk like that. Okay, as you're saying that, he charges at you and swings at you. No shit. Oh, if he man. charges, at you, oh. I, I assume I couldn't summon my magic weapon then. No, not yet. No. Because. Ah. He's taken to the fact that you're threatening him back and going, nah, fuck this, I'm fighting. It's he's, he's my not trade. very, yeah, he's he's not very bright, so I don't run from evil. And in, in fact, uh, Ghoul, mm -hmm. I think Gull, I think you're smarter than he is. <laughs> I'm just curious, what's your intelligence like? <laughs> Oh, oh no, you guys, are both, you guys are both the same then. <laughs> I didn't hear it. What was it? Eight. Eight. Seven, eight, nine. It's not that bad. No. It's not that bad, but I mean... It's still a negative. All right. We got everybody in there? Yeah, I think so. I should, oh, I should probably roll for these guys, shouldn't I? Probably helps. See, what, I took what wrong. What were the beaver-looking guys? <laughs> Those are wolves. Uh, no. I don't know why they're so fucked up. They, it's just the tokens. I totally see beavers now. <laughs> that's the first thing I seen. I was like, that's awesome. I haven't fought against one of those. <laughs> Watch, out for the teeth. Watch out for the teeth in the tail. Yeah. Right. Slam attack with that tail. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. My like, damn. <laughs> yeah, so for the bear looking th the bear looking guy, I gotta do everything manually because the bear token for some reason is fucked up. And I roll twenty. So stupid. All right. So that actually works out all right. He goes first. So he's going to, so when he charges, he's going to kind of get in between the two of you guys. Um, and he's going to take a swing at, um, um, a two and wrist knee. Oh, not the squishy people. Yeah, he, he does one. It's basically one, one swing. He kind of takes his great sword and he kind of whirls it around and oh, he's going to start off really good with a natural 20 against the two. Well, goodbye. And then a twenty, a twenty-four against. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that would, so, that would definitely. Yeah, yeah. Ten, ten points of damage to, uh, to a two, That's and awesome. uh, eight points of damage to Risney. <laughs> I'm so squishy. <laughs> yep. As he like I said, he just kind of goes as he runs up the guy, you know. Just starts spins his greatsword and, and blasts both of you guys. There is definitely no deal now. <laughs> and Risney, you're up. Okay, that changed some things. Um, 
rogue. I'm like, I can disengage as a bonus action. No, I can't. <laughs> um, damn. Okay. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Here's what I can do. Yes. Okay. So I am going to cast a level two spell. Highest level I can cast, because we're only level four. <laughs> um, two? Yeah, we're not quite to level three spells yet. Let me, this is a weird spell. You know what? Here, it let is. me. You should be able to just click on it and it'll pop up and it'll show all this stuff. Because that's one I had to create as well, because it wasn't in here. Yeah. Here it's oh, fine. I guess not. I oh, guess I set up the right oh no, no, no. I, I need to make it a. Uh, uh, I can make it a spell card. Yeah. Standing, what the fuck it does? Okay. Oh yeah. So it wouldn't. It really wouldn't have any effect on him until the end of his turn. If it ends, oh, that's if it ends its turn, though. Yeah, it says he's already ended it, so it says that any creature that ends its turn within five feet of it. So you, you can still, I mean, you can still cast it, but it's not going to do anything until the end of it. Minds, I will save what I was originally going to do for next round. I'm just okay. going to shocking grasp this guy. All right, uh, fourteen will just hit him. Oof. Ah! That I can't. Ah, I'm gonna go here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm tall, are you? As a hobgoblin? Normal huh? human size. Normal human size? Okay. I'm, pretty, I'm taller human than human my size. real self. No, human size. I did not think that. Yep. Never mind. <laughs> all right so anything else you want to do i don't think there's anything else i can so that's it okay all right so then it comes to the wolf's turn what's their movement 40 feet what do they got oh hey there yeah they can get up there uh -huh. so he's gonna go up there He's gonna go up there. Oh, this could be this could be a rough start right away. Holy shit. That's my dudes. Well, goodbye everyone who was nice knowing you. God damn it, he's gonna have to <laughs> He's gonna have to go there. It's the only other spot he's got. Shit. Alright, well it's gonna be two against you, a two, and then one against uh Zig Zip Mud. Um, well, that's Mr. Zipmud to you. <laughs> and they, they have advantage because there's people on, uh, on either side of them. So Zipmud, uh, natural 20. Does not hit. 10, uh, ten points of piercing <laughs> damage. I need you to make a strength saving throw. Me? Yeah. No, uh, Zipmud. Oh, yeah, you, uh, you fall prone. As he charges you and kind of pounces on you, and that's a big ass hit for him. Yay. Okay. And then a 22 to hit. I need for a two. <laughs> a seven uh, points. Seven points of piercing damage, and, a, and then a strength saving throw. Seven points of damage. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, you're not prone. Doesn't matter because you had advantage anyway, and then another seven points of damage as he goes and bites ah. you. Does, does that take you out? No, I'm, okay, I'm at one health. Oh good. my god. Yeah. I mean, zip, zip mud, you're up. I'm the healer. Right, definitely pulling some. Healing uh, potion, my dude. Definitely pulling some horde breaker here. I get actually, okay. since they're within five feet, I get to attack one. And then yep. a second attack, it gets a different person. Yep. So I should take you stand up. Yeah, I'm going to stand up. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to go toward the beaver that's just below me. Okay. 
Okay. Hard wolf. With, uh, against him, you have disadvantage, unfortunately. Okay. Because your sunlight sensitivity. Oh, okay. 18 hit him? That'll still hit, yep. For 11. And then you, you basically, as you, as you swing down, you kind of stab him, you know, right in the side of the head, and, and he goes down. Nice. And then I'm going to uh, swing at the... So you so you have pack you have pack tactics as well so it's going to counteract it so now it's just the regular swing. Do what? I'm sorry. So you have you have pack tactics as well. Oh okay. So because somebody was is within five feet of him that's a friendly you get it's a straight roll because normally you'd have advantage. Oh I I didn't see that in there. It's cool. That's fine. Yeah. That that's why the sunlight sensitivity is not going to be too bad 14. because you kind of counteract each other. Uh, fourteen will hit as you. So you take you for your one short, your one sword. You stab the wolf in the head, and then you you take another swing at this guy, and you you, you cut him down. Nice. You want to do anything else? Um. He didn't kill him. He just cut him down. He's hurting. Um. But he's yeah. still looking like he's ready to I'll go. I'll just uh. I'll move just over closer to kind of okay. help try to shield, even though I'm really small. Okay, you have two weapon. You have two weapon fighting, so I think you can use a bonus action. Or is the horde breaker bonus action? No, uh, horde breaker I automatically get it if someone's within five feet. So I think but you get a third attack then. But two weapon fighting doesn't, doesn't say anything. It just says I can. Uh, I so you can use a bonus action to attack. Oh, sweet! Why not? Um, sure. I will. Uh... Uh, I no, believe it that's just how... says two weapon fighting. You gauge into you add your ability modifier to the damage mm -hmm. of your second attack. Yeah, normally you you could use your your if you have if you have both, you could normally use that a bonus action to hit that hit with the other sword. It just doesn't add your ability or your proficiency oh. or whatever it is. Cool. This just allows you to add your proficiency with it. So it's it's your bonus action to make that attack. So you get three attacks if you're within five feet. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I'll swing at the green dude again. Okay. Which, that's not going to do anything. Yeah, that one's not That one's not going to hit. That's going to, um, <laughs> you know, you, you, you were so relaxed, and, and the sun is, once you come out of the towel, from underneath your towel, the sun just kind of beats on you, and it's you kind of swing wide, and you almost hit a two, but not quite. And that's it. All right. All right, so it is Gull's turn. Um, I'm gonna take a step to the side of this guy because I'm not gonna say any names, but because uh, um, mainly I can't pronounce his name, cut me off. <laughs> how you say it? Zip, zip mud. mud? Yeah. Zip mud. Just right. like it looks, zip mud. <laughs> All right, and uh, I'm going to swing my vicious great club at him. Well, you want to rage? Him, uh, no, he's on. Oh, okay. Side. Half blood. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely gonna hit. I think you also add another one d eight to that because you double. It, your it's already it's already done. No, that's the two d six from it being a vicious weapon. I think. Um. Yeah. Roll another d eight. Sure. I don't know why it's not in there then. Nice. <laughs> So is that 15 points? No. 17. 17, yeah. Nice hit. Vicious Great Club starts off right away. Holy shit. Um, yeah, as you just kind of bat him across the face, and it, it hits him, and he, he, da he gets dazed for a second. He just kind of staggers and then looks at you, and he's like, oh, shit. And he's, now he seems kind of, you know, has turned focus toward you more. Um, kind of... <laughs> looking like you're the one that, that's going to hurt him the most. Uh, and that's going to then bring us up to a two. How bad does this guy look? Uh, he's looking a, looking a little rough, but he's still he's still standing rough. pretty good. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, I need to use my restorative ointment. Okay. And then cool. I'm going to get up. Okay. Up plus 13. Hold on. Plus 12. Yeah, okay. Then I'm gonna stand up. Yeah. Kind of you know dust side. myself off. There you go. I believe you've picked the wrong people to mess with. 
Uh, is there any bonus actions I can do? I don't. Is Magic Stone a bonus action? It is. Uh, I, I think it is. Yeah. And, and so, for the yeah. sake of it, I figure you it shows you know you got a bag of sand in your end. Just switch that to a bag oh, of rocks or stones. So yeah, I'll I'll summon like three rocks out of that bag and kind of spin them around in my hand. Okay. And I, do you also get to attack with it as bonus action? Uh no, it just makes it. Uh, okay, so yeah, just makes spin three play. stones in my hand. Just kind of getting it ready. Sure. Yeah. You can also give it to somebody else, like later on, if you want it over. You can right. give it to somebody to throw it. They can use it as well. It's kind of a cool right. little, cool little yeah. thing. I know you were upset when I got rid of it for a second. That's because I. That's the only reason I gave you the sling. Otherwise, I was going to have you have a boomerang. <laughs> but, all right. So that now comes to the bear-looking creature. Well, he can't even get to you guys. So he's going to... He'll have to use his dash to get there, and that's basically all he's going to do. Yes. He can't do anything else. Uh, then it's Goose's turn. He's going to turn it, and he's going to whirl his greatsword again. This time he's going to use... Uh, he can see that that goal is, you know, looking... Yeah, that's just the way it happened. <laughs> Go Goose is the name from the from the actual the one shot, and then your, yours is just a simple one that I can that I found, and I, I didn't really even realize they were the same or close. I'm, I'm just messing with you. Um, so he, he's gonna whirl and he's gonna go and attempt. He's gonna go ahead and go reckless because he's uh, he's feeling rough and he doesn't look to be raging at all. He just has a reckless attack. That's all. Um, but he's going to go for Ghoul and uh, Zip Mud. So for Ghoul, it's going to be uh, 22 to hit for 10 points of slashing. Totally and then amazing. Zip, oh my god, it's the second natural 20 he's had against you, Zip Mud, for 18 points of slashing. Okay. Oh, why do you why do you hate us, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to kill us already, god. Um, and this, then it brings up Risney. I have a 15 foot cone, please. <laughs> okay. 15, 45 degree or 90 degree? Probably 40. Yes, I need to see what they look like. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, shit. Your name's not Keith. Yeah, that's recent. How, Save. How so you have control of that me? one. How did that do hit me, by the way? Sorry. He, he, has a, he's, he does a world of whirling greatsword attack. Oh. Uh, so me being two and a half feet tall, he was able to get by his own guy and hit. Yeah. Right. I mean, you're right there. Good. It's not but, like. But I'm really small. <laughs> he starts with you and goes with an uppercut motion toward the orc. Is that will I get the, all three enemies? Uh, you'll get all three enemies as well as Ghoul. That doesn't matter. I have. Um... <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I have. Funny. So I can, yeah, I can make it so that uh, my friends don't get hurt. That's yep, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so you get all three of them there. I'm gonna cast Burning Hands at level two then. Okay. So Dex saving throws. Oh, if you're casting at level two though. I had it set to ask me, but it's not. Whatever. We're adding a d6 to that eleven. <laughs> yeah. You can take the five that you roll them. Oh. On. Oh, well, it right did anyway. So, right, so uh, Goose failed. The brown bear, I have to roll. He's got no, nothing for Dex. That's good. Nice and easy. He succeeded. Good. And then the one wolf. Oh, he failed. All right, so you, I'll move this over there. So it's oh, it's 16 points for failures, right? Uh-huh. The bear, and then it's half as much. On a success, yeah. Success, so eight, and this wolf goes down as so. As you guys see, Reese kind of put her hand, put his, her hands together, and just shoot out a, a burning flames. And Ghoul, for you, it looks like it's coming at you. And you're like, ah! 
don't hit me. And then all of a sudden just kind of the way the, the flames just kind of wrap around you and just harmlessly go around you. It, it warms you up a little more than you already are at the beach. Um, at this point, Goose is looking rough. He's looking rough and he's now he's starting to look a little frantic. Like he's, uh, you know, he's not, he's not wanting to be there. All right. Uh, <laughs> anything else, Christy? Um, that's it. All right. Well, the only wolf that's left is going to go ahead and, and just keep on trying to bite you. Uh, a two and a, it does a 12 hit. A two? For, oh, yeah, that'll hit. Uh, for 10 points of piercing damage. Ah, it flies over 15, it hits me. Oh, wait, it's, it was only 12. I was only 12. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear that. Oh, so it, then it doesn't hit you. It so doesn't he, hit he, It hits okay, my goes, normal AC. That doesn't got hit it. major armor AC. Okay. He goes to bite you, and you, yeah, because you said you cast a sheep yep. on, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, so he goes to bite you, and it just kind of, your, your mage armor kind of, Almost chips, probably chips one of his tooth as he bites, and he just kind of doesn't. The wolf looks shocked as to why that didn't work. Uh, zip mud, you're up. Zip mud, Zeph. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was uh, oh. trying to uh, look through here. Oh, um, okay. As of right now, I'm going to just swing. Um, Guz, uh, is that Guz is the green guide, right? Yep. Yeah, yep. I'm gonna swing right at him. The not so looking hulking orc. Yep. Sixteen. Uh, sixteen will hit him. For seven. Seven points, nice. Anything else? He's starting to. He's looking. Uh, yeah, he's within five feet. Seems so better I'm days. Gonna, I'm gonna swing again. Uh, it's gotta be a different target. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, but uh, but you can still swing again with your with bonus action. Bonus. So yeah, yep. 19. That'll hit him for six. Yeah, he's he's starting to now. Now he's looking he's looking bad. Um, actually, go ahead and roll two more times because you have advantage on it because he used his reckless attack as well. Oh, roll two more times. Okay. Yeah, just to make sure you don't get a nat twenty. Good to go. No, I don't do that against you. You do that against me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember now. All right. Um, zip mud, anything else? Movement? Are you good there? God, yeah, I'll, is... I will. Yeah, I'll what stick the right hell? there right now. All oh. right. Whoever's next, my shit just dropped. I think it was uh, Gull. Oh. Um, yeah, I forgot because of my great weapon master perk, because if I hit a crit, I could use my bonus action to make another uh, strike. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, for next time. Yeah, so. Yep. Um, uh, oh, wait. I'm going to read this real quick. Lucky, I'll take a minus five to the attack roll to take the ten extra. Actually, no, he's looking very rough. You said, yeah, but you have advantage on the attack. Don't forget, because he uses reckless. Ah, I feel lucky. I feel lucky. Yeah, so you have advantage. Minus five to the roll. Okay. Ooh, no. What are you looking? It's Twelve, I think. Twelve is just gonna miss, unfortunately. Ah, oh, son of a gun. Lucky. So yeah, you see, you know, you see that he's, uh, you know, he's, you see the opening. You, you just kind of think, and you don't get quite get mad enough to where you're raging, but you're like, I'm gonna finish this guy, and he sees it coming. You know, it's you kind of choreograph it pretty good, and uh, he's able to kind of dodge out of the way and misses your great club misses. Um, anything else? I think there's much more you can do as bonus. Uh, a two. Okay, so you said attacks with him, you can have advantage. Correct. He's reckless. Okay, so I'm going to Eldritch Blast. Okay. Hit him, since he's right next to me. But basically, I'm going to grab him by the back and try to, like, 
It's got to be melee, melee weapon attacks. No. Oh, it's attack, got to be melee weapon attacks. Attack rolls against him. Yep, you're good. Oh, I'm going to need attack okay. rolls. Yep. So, yeah, uh, basically to cancel it out, and I'm just going to, like, smash to get smash against the Eldritch Blast. Okay, yeah. So it's just straight roll now. Yeah, that's going to get him. Four, six. Now you just kind of see him kind of wavering. You know, he's still still holding his ground, but he's... He's not doing so hot. I don't. So, all right. Okay, the bear is up, and he's going to go ahead and uh, take some swings at you. Uh, goal. Come on. I like that, wouldn't he? If my roll 20 would work, I'll do it. Fuck it, we'll do it old school way. Where's my d20? Damn it, I don't have a d20. Five. Oh, there it goes. Now it starts working. Oops, add five to that. So I'm, I'm guessing that's going to hit you. Yeah, so as he, he goes and bites down on you, and it does. Eight. 11 points of damage. And then as as he kind of pulls back with from that bite, he takes a takes a swing at you with his claws. And now I'm guessing the ten is gonna miss. But you see those coming, so you're able to kind of get your great club in the way and kind of knock his paw out of the way. And um, I haven't been able to get my club in time. What's that? So I was barely able to get my club up in time. Yeah, basically, after you smashed the uh, goose in the face, your club was coming back, and you're able to get it and and knock his paw out of the way with that. Like I said, the 10 doesn't hit. Um, and then, so that, that ends the bear's turn, and then goose is up. He kind of, you know, looking woozy, he goes, oh, well, I can't, I can't serve my master if I'm dead, and he's going to use disengage and try to get the hell out of there. Rude. I mean, we can send him to hell after you. That works too. That's going to end his turn right there. Risk me. Hmm. Uh, uh, not so fast. And firebolt him. That's going to just hit him. Not He's still up. Quite going to kill him, though. It, it kind of oh. hits him, and he kind of staggers a little bit. He goes to the knee, and he gets back up, and he continues to try to start running. I just swear. Just, oh just barely holding on. Two or less thread. <laughs> One thread, actually. I'm going to go. <laughs> Any movement? I'm just going to go movement, 5, 10, 15. Oh, there, just so we can't run out of range, hopefully. Okay. Um, the wolf is going to go ahead and step over here, and he's going to go for the... Uh, for you, uh, Ghoul, you know, he's smart enough to know that he's going to have an easier time hitting you because you're tied up with the bear. Um, he's going to miss, though, with the 10. Yeah, the one thing you guys are noticing about the wolves and the bear is they seem to be moving a lot smarter than you'd ever, you know, you recognize as a beast to do. You know, they, their tactics, they're, they're, you know, instead of just going all out and attacking the first thing it sees... You know, they seem to be moving in a way that um, seems to have some some more intelligence, if you will, than expected. Uh, but he goes to bite you, and you're able to dodge it, you know, throw your club in the way again. And, and these animals just seem to want to not be able to hit you very well. Zip Mud, you're up. So if I move, will I be able to... Um, can yep. I move or get a, would I be hit by the bear since he hit me last time? The bear didn't hit you last time. The big dude did, you said? The green yeah, guy. the big guy's not in front of you anymore, though. Oh, the green guy did? Yeah, yeah the green guy hit you. Oh, sorry, because when I, I thought it was the bear guy because it was his turn, I thought, whenever he hit, he moved Oh, on no, you sword. might have forgot to click it or something. No, it was green guy that swung his greatsword around. Oh, okay, sorry, I misunderstood. Caught, caught both you guys. That's why I questioned. I was like, how does the bear <laughs> dude hit me? He's like two uh, space and a diagonal. So, oh, no, uh, no, it was Ghoul cool, that was hitting how me. Was, uh, am I able to tell how bad a two Acre is right now? Like, are you, is his uh, health really bad? I, I'm okay right now. I'm about... 
let's see, thir- I'm 13 out of 25, you know, on a, oh, on a 25 okay, you're point better scale. better than me then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was previously 1 out of 25. I'm out of 20. 8 out of 36 because of those crits. Um, hey, welcome to the club. I'm I'm going to do it this round. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. Okay. Fair enough. Hey, I got some. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. Big heels. Wow. One of you guys could potentially die here. <laughs> this would be fun. Uh, anything else? Um actually I yeah I yeah I don't really have anything bonus wise from there. Um yeah, that was my action. So, yeah, I got nothing. All right. Goal. You got a, a bear and a wolf on you. Langlock. Oh, uh, I forget I'm goal. Um, yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Langlock. Uh, the goal is pretty dumb, and, and he likes smashing, so... I'm going to run up here aggressively to get in range. <laughs> All right. You're going to get the... of opportunity. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. take him. All right, so the wolf will have his advantage attack. Uh, 19. Yeah, because it's got pack tactics. Uh, yeah. 19, so seven, seven points. And then the uh, bear is going to try to get you with his claw as he runs by. Uh, 11 is going to miss, I believe. Yeah. Bear can't seem to swipe you with the claw at all. Some healing after this. <laughs> yeah, it's going to hit him. That's, so you guys see. How do you want to kill him? Just kind of want to whack him on him right on the top of the head. All right. Yeah, you guys see um, Gull just go running right past the bear and the wolf as they, you know, they try to bite and swipe at him. And, and he, as he's running, he's got his club straight in the air just kind of screaming and just boom smashes it right on his head and it just just like a whack-a-mole you see his kind of his head and, you know you can tell his neck broke his clavicle broke and it just seems to have sunk in for a second and it kind of pops up and it's just limp as he falls to the ground that's cool <laughs> yeah he's he dead <laughs> uh you probably have some movement left if you wanted to move anywhere um, I don't want to get back in range of them, so okay. I'm fine right here. Okay. A two. Okay. So I would have a packed weapon at this point, correct? Because I'm packed. What do you mean? Blade. You could transform one magical weapon into your... Oh, to summon it? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, like, I, would, I wouldn't have to like create it, essentially. No, no, you have one. You have one. Yeah. I have one. Okay. Yeah. So I will pull... Up. I don't have a packed weapon described in here. I don't know. I can just... Use one yeah, I didn't do any of that. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'll determine what it is later. Yeah. And I'm. Well, the only thing you need it for would be your damage, I believe, because that's the difference. Right. So I'm just, I'm just gonna burn hands weird. them. Oh, okay. Make it's, it. A it has to be level four. So. Oh, so I had another one d six because I didn't let me add another. Wait, so, what do you mean it's gotta be level four? Or level two. Not level four. It's gonna be level two because of my warlock things. Oh yeah, because yeah, okay. So he also in the what's your DC? Thirteen. Thirteen. I don't know why it didn't show up there. The bear is gonna succeed with a sixteen. The wolf is a ten. So the wolf is dead. I believe because you're at a nineteen. Yeah, the wolf's gone. Yeah. Again, you guys see this burning, you know, smell of this burning hair. And, you know, it looks bad. I killed the the wolf. The bear's looking really, really rough and, you so, know, singed up hair and, you know, whatever cloak it might have had on him at one point. It's, it's. I gained seven temporary hit points and I will stand next to the bear ready to take it on. All right. And the bear is happy to oblige. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So he's going to bite you and try to claw you. Okay. 
So the bite, I think these both probably missed. Oh, really? Thir- 13 is the highest of the two. Yes. Yeah, so he adds, the other one was a, the other one was an eight. I'm over here, just this warlock with 15 yeah. AC. Like, bring so it he, on. Um, he bites you, and, you know, to everyone else, it looks like you just got a chunk bitten out of you, and you kind of wait for the pain, but you look around, and it seems that your, your mage armor is held, and he swipes the claw, and same thing, it just kind of drags across, and, you know, he loses one of his claws, and he's starting to get pissed that he's not able to make contact with anybody. Are you done yet? You uh, Rifni... Yeah, let's let's just you know. But, 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 how many allies are in range for me? Uh, three, I believe it's thirty feet, right? Yeah, so thirteen. So thirteen. You only get to use it once, I believe, for long rest. For, I thought it was short rest. Is it short rest? I don't know. Check it before you use it. Um, so yeah, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, so thirteen will hit. As you guys see, um, uh, did you did you say you wanted to use it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you guys see uh, Risney. She she goes to throw the fire bolt and she kind of trips over her foot, but then for some reason it seems the fire you know she adjusts quickly and the fire bolt does hit the bear and she kind of stands up and steps on the one foot and re- recovers and she could shoot. I did that, that. That was on purpose, guys. That was on purpose. You know? <laughs> She goes to save. She saves her face. Saves face with you guys watching. The bear's just hanging on, burning, burning hair and all. Just hanging on. Zip mud. You're up. All right. Um, you said pack tactics, right? If I have an ally within me, I get yep. two. Yep. Yeah, let's try it. I'll move up. Okay. And I will try to swing twice. Okay, so it'd be canceled out then, so no disadvantage or advantage. Oh, okay. Just the straight rolls. Uh, that's going to hit him. What about the next one? 15? That'll hit him. So yeah, you just see, you guys see, uh, how do you want to, anything special? Oh, he how do you want to kill him? Oh, yeah. yeah I'm do? so running up him and stabbing both swords right into his neck from each side. Okay. All right, yeah, so you guys see just that. Zip Mud goes running up, and he kind of climbs up the back of the bear and takes both uh, both swords and flips them up in the air and grabs him by the hand and just stabs him on each side of the neck and damn near cuts the bear's head off as, as the bear kind of slides down and falls. And um, well, I couldn't at, reach at that, that point... Far, I couldn't reach that far around because I'm too small. <laughs> <laughs> but your blades, when you did it, you cut, you know, yeah, you cut through enough, but... And, and the strange thing is, as that happens, you start, you notice that the bear turns into uh, a human as you kill him. And then now you guys looking around as you're not fighting and you're not paying attention, the three wolves also have turned to human. Right. Kill, like, prisoners. Those crazy humans and their weird magics. And the human doesn't have a head. You, you've severed the head of the human. <laughs> Yeah, the one, the bear. So, I'm gonna walk up to the sheep and be like, and and I'm gonna be, look have a very confused look on my face. Yeah, their yeah, person. Uh, yeah, as as I said, the the, the wizard that t- trains me into here, he he was my apprentice. I I was trying to let you guys know before. Before they attack, and and this is what he does. He 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 changes. He, he, huh? Let me think. <laughs> if their person, yeah, on my fingers, it but wolf, just, just oh. like I'm I, I sheep person. Like I've been telling you, I'm sheep person. <laughs> Guys, he's a person. <laughs> Kind of do a little clap for him. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, so, so you guys, do, do you believe? Will you, will you help me and, and get me out of this predicament? I mean, you can see what kind of that mad, the magical uh, wand that he has. You can see what it does. So guys are kind of dicks, to be honest. So yeah, maybe. 
what do you what is it gonna take first (laughs) (laughs) what is it gonna take for you guys to help me to your library all of your spells all of your spell scrolls yep done whatever you want get me out of the sun uh uh, you can uh, you can come underneath me i'm probably i think i'm big enough you can (laughs) i mean whatever i I, yeah all right (laughs) (laughs) i'm just getting sick of tired of the grass um so what what do you guys what do you guys want to do Roll some hit die. And. Yeah, we, uh, okay. You taking a short rest? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so while you guys are having the short rest, he's, he kind of, fi- finally, because he has somebody to talk to that understands him. Um, <laughs> Heck yeah. Jeez. <laughs> That sound good? Yeah, I mean tavern brawler okay. for us gives you that. But yeah, I'll yeah. take it. Yeah, okay. Um if you do if you do a wield, use the great club stats. <laughs> yeah. So okay. Yeah. I, I'll give it to you as like a um uh what do you call it? versatile. So. Okay. Well kinda like versatile. Kinda, yeah. You can take his great club's a D eight. So. Yeah. What's a club? A D four. Oh, then make it a D6 if you do two-handed then. I'm getting only threes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's fine. Okay. All right. Um, so as yeah, as you guys are resting, he kind of, again, being that he has somebody that will actually, you know, you guys can hear him. Um, he's He just kind of keeps on talking and, and he's just, yeah, so two, two years ago, and if you guys can, you know, stop me at any time to ask me questions, but he's just going to, like I said, he's going to rattle off of what the hell is going on. And, um, t- uh, so up about two years ago, I, I owned a tower and he worked out of a tower and uh, out of the outskirts of town. Um, I, I can take you right to it. Um, I, I specialize in transmutation magic and, and the, the weapon or the, the possession that turned me into this is it's, it's a wand of true polymorph. And uh, I actually, I actually made it better. So, so it's it's even better than just the wand of true polymorph. Um, a two and uh, Risney, you have heard of a wand like this before, and you know it's pretty damn powerful. And then for him to make it better, <laughs> it's got to be pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, one kind of. Good. That is amazing. I never would have guessed that a sheep could make a a wand better, especially one with a spell that powerful. Oh my gosh! Well, uh, well, again, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm a sheep because of the wand. But still. So, um, and and basically, I, I he he tells you he was turned to. What, what, just one faithful night that uh, I was in, I was in my meditative, meditative str- stand, that uh, trance. Yeah, can't talk. And I found my apprentice Ahmad Nok standing over me, clutching the wand. I, I, I demanded to know what the what what he was doing, but all that came out of me was an angry bah! And then that that's when I realized that I turned into a sheep. Um, he, he kept me a virtual prisoner in my own garden. He's forced me to graze on nothing but grass and buttercups while hungry wolves and other beasts that, as you can tell, are actually polymorph gars wanted to wanted to destroy me. But he, he at least kept them from eating me. Um, last, last night, uh, Noak left, as he rarely does, and he, he forgot to close the door and... I, I was able to sneak in and grab the uh, the scroll that I that I used that you get that you used and and I got the hell out of here and, and found you guys. Um, I need to basically what I need you guys to do is get that wand back and and hit me with it and and it should should bring me back to uh, to who I was before. Need um, me to hit you and I'm gonna hold my club. 
no, 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 uh, hey, look at look at that! And he, and he kind of like kind of points toward the beach, and and he kind of uh, he points. Do you, you see some fish that are jumping out of the water? Gull. He's go 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 see if you can catch one of those. Go get them. I'd go sprinting after them. <laughs> <laughs> um, and <laughs> so you, you know you go off, and he t- he keeps it. You know, tells Rusty that um, that that. Noak keeps the wand on him at all times. Um, it's uh, he's still he's taken my old home, um, and uh, I, I can tell you exactly what it looks like, and, and I can take you guys right there. And I mean, once, once you get there, I'm, I'm in this in this state, I'm no good, so I'll, I'll hide and stay back. But but I'm more than willing to take you there. And and, and again, whatever it takes, whatever you guys need from me, I, I will. Gladly provide when you change your back. <laughs> so. Oh, I look at him like very seriously and I say, He's hey, that your apprentice. Rise. Say that. <laughs> he just lets out a sigh that, and he, he turns and looks at it too. So, can you help me? Are you? Willing to... <laughs> yes, I will help. He looks to everyone else. What's it gonna? I mean, what? What are you gonna? You just gonna help me? Cool. Excellent. How about you? He turns to use it, mud, and you. Or I guess he looks down, I should say, underneath him. You... Yeah, I'm going. You, I'm riding. You said you said you, you wanted me to get you out of the sun, right? That's Heck. that's what I'm doing. So that that was the deal, right? Yeah. All right. First two are easy. Um, at this point, Gull, you're coming back. <laughs> I mean, I could always say no if you want to call me things such as easy. I am doing this simply because I feel bad for you. No, no, no. I mean, I, I expected, I didn't expect, I just thought it was going to be a little dip, more difficult. What do you want? If, 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 is it payment? I mean, what, what is it? I'm, I'm not trying to offend you. I just, I just need, I just need your help. I'm going to be helping. Okay. Excellent. Kind of keeps an um, odd eye on him. Gall, Gall comes back with a fish in his mouth. Um, how, about, how about you, big man? There's more more fish where that comes from. You, you want to help me? And I got all the, I got more sheep. Huh? I'm like prostitutes and beer. Oh, sorry, horse. That's too big of a word for him. God. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's what if that's what you want, that's what you'll have. You can use my bedroom with a nice big fluffy bed too. I'll bring them to you. <laughs> Two thumbs up, and I spit the fish in front of him. He kind of just kind of steps away and turns toward you, Reese. Reese, Reese Re, Re, how, how about you? You. All your all books. Jo- all jokes. All aside, your spells. Oh. Yes. Yeah, you can. You can even have no sp- uh, no spell book. Great. Uh, I want that too. Um, and you know. And. I'm sorry, you're skipping. I want the wand. We'll, 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 we'll have to discuss that one. I need to be changed back. It, it doesn't look like you're in a position to bargain. No, it, it's... yeah. Okay, fine, yes. Yes, as long as you change me back to the wizard that I was, the wand is yours. Hey. Let's go. Get up. We go away from our beach, quote unquote, paradise. Just dead bodies behind. Yeah, I mean that's probably just the usual thing for this group. Yeah, I mean they're not, you know, they're not uh, anything, 
you know, in particular, they're not going to stop anybody or, or care per se. By the way, Bob, um, mm -hmm. I used Arcane Recovery during the rest, so I got okay. my spell slot back. Cool. Sorry, just setting some stuff up real quick. Um, you guys, you guys head off, and he, the the sheep leads you leads you to where you need to go, and um, he kind of starts leading you through the woods. And I mean, does anyone have any you know questions or anything like that that you want to ask him, or you guys just? I don't think it's good to follow, going. basically. Yeah, I don't think I care. Yeah. Just care. <laughs> okay. Yeah, cool. I mean, like I would, I would be asking, like, you know. What does your tower look like? Yeah, okay. At fighting people, like, does he have? Well, well he's got, he's, he had, you, you get, you know, he explains he care, you know, by taking out goos and taking out the wolves and, um, you know, everything like that. He, uh, he, he did pretty good already. I mean, he's not going to have a ton left. Um, and then, or just be uh, picking dandelions the entire time. Um, no, I, I'll just I, I'll be I, I'm done. I'm sick of eating grass. The the prospect of me not eating grass here in a little while is is excellent. Um, but I, I'll be here to help. I can I can explain the layout of the house. I can. You know, any anything like that, I can tell you and let you know. But I, I, in this, like I said, in this shit, if you can get the wand off of him, and and, and you know, help me before, uh, you know, before he notices, I, you know, I'm, I'll definitely help. That's that's for sure. But but otherwise, I, I'm I'm no help for you in this in this state. Um, you guys walk in, and he so he ends up explaining your house or his house, and you guys basically come up to it shortly after he's done explaining it. And um, rather than stone or glass, you guys see the house before you seems to have been formed from the living branches of four sturdy oak trees. All right, let me see. Polygon reveal. This is going to be interesting. Let me reveal it for you, and then I'll explain to you what it looks like. So, let's see. Do I still have the temp HP after the short rest? Or no. don't think so. The what? Temporary HP. Do I still have it? After my short rest. Oh, okay, no, so they're not depleted. Okay, so they're fine. I still have them. Never mind, it's all good. And when we get to the castle, pretty much I have the mage armor like all the time on all the time. Okay, how long does it last again? It's eight hours, and I can cast it at will. Cool. Can you <laughs> cast it at will? Yep. How do you cast it at will? Armor of Shadows. Oh, got it. Eldritch Invocation. That's pretty silly. Mm -hmm. That's. I was like, I'm gonna just take this real quick. <laughs> I like other spells, but you know. Hey, I, they, I, really I thought the needed... tech magic was pretty cool. That will. Oh no, it was awesome, and it was a great idea. But I don't have a lot of health, and my character. He's pretty, judging by his first ally traits, he's pretty cocky. So, he needs something so he doesn't die. Oh, there goes my dice. Bob, did, did, mm -hmm. sorry. When our characters were created, were the point, hit points rolled for? Uh, or yeah, is it supposed to be I rolled I rolled for Wow. Like the initial one, yeah, the initial ones look like shit, and I'm like, I got to roll them. I got like two points better than what the initial ones were. 
Oh man. Okay. Yeah. Well, you got a terrible, terrible constitution, so. It was going to be worse if I would have made it. It was the, the stats that they gave you, you know, automatically that they that they rolled for on on the D and D Beyond was worse. Like that, your 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 constitution for was like a negative six or or was a six? I mean, so like there was like fourteen hit points or something like that. It was ridiculous. Oh my god! I have eighteen, so it's you a little 18. bit better. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, that's why I was like, oh my god, I got <laughs> eight hit points down. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sitting much better at 25. Um, All right. Squishy that's crowd. Cool. Must be nice. <laughs> you can also rage and like, it must, you can also rage and effectively double that against like regular bludgeoning and slashing. All right. Just didn't want to use it on the first fight, and then right. I kind of then it dropped down to thirteen health, and then I wish I had. <laughs> so, as he explains to you what everything, you know, what everything is, he said, uh, "You you come up to this house, and you see um, it seems to have been formed from the living branches of four sturdy oak trees. These had they have shape." They have been shaped and woven to create three thick platforms. The lowest of these platforms, which would be this one here. You know, you can't quite see it yet, but that it seems to be about 40 feet across. It sits about 10 feet above from the ground. Um, there is only one route up, which is a gentle slope that's formed by the roots and branches that connects roughly with the main path. He lets you know that there's nothing in that one. That's just one, you know, extra extra step, extra defense, if you will, to make it harder for people to get into his, his place. Um, by far the largest of the three platforms, wait, scratch that, branches curl around its base, creating a rough bowl shape around it. From where you stand, it's possible to see flowers and small trees its edge by far the largest of three platforms is the middle one which looks to be around 60 feet across it's about 20 feet above the ground is fully enclosed with a wall formed from twisting branches you can see evenly spaced window sized gaps as well as what appears to be a door at the point closest to the garden platform uh, the final and the tallest platform is about roughly 30 feet above the ground it's much smaller than the others. It looks to be linked to the central platform by another small slope. And you see scattered beneath the platforms are two small wooden huts and a large outhouse. So he tells you that this is uh, the wooden hut here. Do you guys see the map, by the way, what I'm talking about? I moved just in to case. see it, but oh, my yeah. character's not over there. Yeah, I'll move, your, I'll move your characters over there. I just was, un, like I said, I was cleaning or getting the fog of war gone. So here we'll do this. Oh, never mind. There you go. Tell me. So we'll just say for the sake of this, um, there's like a, we'll say a path that goes this way, something like that. And then everything over here is going to be like more foresty and everything over here will be foresty as well. So there's just kind of you guys end up coming up. I don't know. However, you want to make your, um, you know, who wants to lead, whatever you want to do. Go ahead and set your guys. He's obviously going to kind of be in the front, showing you where to go. Um, I'd also probably be in the front because I'm okay. a big boy. How do you want to approach this? By the way, Are you guys kind of sneaking up. As he explains this to you, do you want to be hiding in the trees, or what are you guys? You just going to walk right up? What are you going to do? Next to the sheep. Okay. But do you want, so how do you guys want to approach? Talking regularly unless like the sheep tells me to do something okay. else. Okay. So as you approach, um, you know, you can start coming out of the clearing. You guys can, like I said, he, th this, this building right here is going to be the outhouse building. He tells you. This building, the two buildings that are on the left that are on the ground are just um, basically like like bunks. There's nothing. There really shouldn't be anything 
out of the ordinary in there, if you will. It's just uh, just a place for the guards to sleep. Um, and then as you approach, you guys see three apes that are in the front, you know, just on the grass, kind of playing, um, playing with dice, like a pair of lawn dice. Uh, you see that there's some iron great swords that are stuck in the... Um, as you approach, they kind of look up at you and, you know, they do start to, uh, um, they, they, they don't really kind of approach you guys, but this guy seems to, you know, start running up the, um, running up the ramp, you know, he kind of, he grabs the great sword first and goes up the ramp and they start, they kind of all start moving out of their way toward that ramp there. Um, one of them stops at the outhouse and says, you know, pounds on us is, you don't understand what he's saying, but um, just kind of pounds on it. You can just hear the, you know, monkey noises coming out of his. Uh, you get the sense that there's something inside the outhouse that he was, you know, getting attention to. Bob, I have a question. Mm -hmm. This is really missing, right? Probably, yeah. Yeah. So if one were to say, light it on fire. Yeah, I would say something could probably happen. <laughs> Excellent. Um, are you guys going to do anything when you see the apes all scattered? Light this shit up. You're going to throw a fire bolt or? Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I mean, the door is closed, but you can go ahead and make an attack roll. It, it hits. What are, you, what are you aiming at the door or what are you aiming at? Uh, a little window. I'd like to get inside somehow. If um, I can. Okay. Yeah, you're not. The window's just kind of. You know, it's like that half crest, the crescent. Um, your fireball <laughs> would hit next to it, and not just, just not be enough to get inside. It's kind of like shrunk <laughs> door. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you guys see them. You know, at this point, the apes. You know, they, they kind of seem to disappear um, into there. And then as the fire the firebolt kind of hits the door, you just hear this this loud roar, you know, coming out of it. And it looks like the bear kind of opens up the door and it seems like uh, he's none too happy that you're, you're disturbing his, uh, <laughs> his stuff. So as the bear is revealed, I'm gonna take out my magical weapon. Okay. So uh you know so how you go. have your great your great club goal? I've got a pretty great club too, but it's in the form of a chair. Beautiful. Yeah. Little it's not as big as not as big as yours is right. goal, but it's it's a chair that uh <laughs> that no matter how hard he hits and how many times he hits somebody with it, it doesn't seem to break. <laughs> I got this from a tavern at some point. You probably remember, like, when we first went. I took it from a tavern. I just didn't give it back. <laughs> it's mine now. Goal? Goal. You only play goody-goody characters. <laughs> I don't... I mean, I was given this character. Also, no, I've got some... Not so nice um, So what do you guys... Are you guys going to... I mean, the bear. The bear doesn't look like he's coming after you. He just does. He just does not look happy. Did did the outhouse catch fire even a little bit? Ah, uh, the firebolt wasn't enough. No, unfortunately, all not right. enough to catch. But the door is open now, and you, you know, I mean, you guys Try all again. were not really in combat quite yet. Like I said, the bear, he he looks pissed, but he's not. Doesn't look like he's charging you yet. Blow this uh, outhouse up, my dude. Are you throwing it at the bear, or are you just getting inside, however? To, like, best blow-up potential, so, yeah, like, if okay. I can hit that toilet seat, I will. Um, and you're right there. It'd be a little difficult to see it, but you do get it inside, and uh, I'll say it does It does catch and explode. Um, so go ahead and roll 2d6. with a bang oh you know I if I actually do this correctly there we go okay not bad the bear gets hurt you know it's a pretty good size explosion but 
again, it, it, you know, it is an outhouse. It's <laughs> your 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 firebolt didn't go in the toilet necessarily, but it was enough to ignite the gases. And you see some of the, you know, wall. It doesn't necessarily destroy the outhouse, but it looks rough. Um, and then at that point, the bear is pretty pissed, and he's, you know, quickly. Uh, now we're gonna now we're gonna have to go to an initiative. Now he's looking like he's gonna attack. Uh, and as as you did that, you seen one of the apes go flying. You know, you guys, uh, you one of you would have noticed the ape go across in the inside of this door. Jesus, guys! Holy shit! What? I made three roll, four rolls today. Two of them have been crit. <laughs> so you see that, like I said, this ape disappeared into there, and then you, the other two, you not 100 percent sure, but you haven't seen them disappear yet. Um, all right. So I gotta make some rolls. Don't get blown away by the uh, Acura. Hmm? Don't get blown away. <laughs> Don't else die over here. A little more quietly. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> All right. So I gotta put. You guys know that there's the bears, apes. All right, descending. And we have Zipmund. Zipmud. Um, I'm going to kind of do like fall down and roll out from under okay. the sheep. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to fire my long longbow okay. at the big bear thing. Okay. Nice. Ooh, very yeah, nice. Definitely gonna hit. Get some, get some pretty good, and he's already, you know, sting. You, you see that he's got shit all over him because of the explosion, and and the shit's literally shit this time. Uh. <laughs> um, yeah, he's he's not happy, not happy at all. Yeah, that's it for me. Okay. I don't. Uh, yeah, goal. You got movement if you want to move. A little bit more rough because of the explosion. Yeah, the explosion hurt him. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to... I also want to take a million damage and... Bless him, yeah. I'm just going to run out of... <laughs> and swing my club. Okay. I'm going to need my rages later. Okay. Yeah, you're just, just going to miss them as, uh, you know, you get up there and you go to swing it, even for your, the stench of burning bear hair and shit and, you know, wood, it just, it just hits you and you're like, oh, it just throws you off to, you catch like, it, as you swing down with your club, you catch the top of the door frame and it's, you're not able to complete your swing. Alright, well, I'm gonna step to the side so I don't catch anything in the back. Um, you're gonna, you, you, you would, that would invoke a attack of opportunity because of the door. Okay. There's only, I mean, you can do it, but there's only, that's the only spot, so you would be leaving his, uh, his range. So, you can still move if you want to, though. Yeah, but I don't want to get hit right okay. now. Okay, alright. Uh, wrist knee. It's, so, is the fire still going? No, it was like a, you know, with a methane type thing, it'd be a, you know, explosion. There's, the, the roof is gone, um, and there's bits and pieces of uh, fire, you know, wood that's on fire around, but it's not, uh, it's not burning huge, per se. Whew. Well, I would like to firebolt. <laughs> and where you'd have if you'd have to move over to get a better shot Sorry. of at the bear, but it's Ooh, just move um, over to the right one. There you go. Yeah. And that'll hit him. He's looking real rough now. Looking real rough. Anything else from you? 
No, that's it. Oh, actually, yes. Sorry. Okay. I just realized I can move more. And I guess I'm gonna go... Oh, well, mm, yeah. Here. A two? Everyone's going before you. <laughs> oh, they are? I'm yep. shocked. <laughs> um, you see... Uh, a wizard step out of the door here. God damn it. Why is this messing up? Like, stop it. Um, you see the wizard step out of the door here and he just kind of um, looks at you guys and just, what, what, what do you, what do you guys do? Just, will you just give me that my sheet back and, and Tony never, this never happened. I, I can hire some more guards and you know, it, it's not that big of a deal. Just, just get, get, just get out of here. Leave the sheep. Um, and, and we'll call it square. Um, and you see him, uh, at the, as he's saying that, you know, he kind of a, more of a show of intimidation. He casts, uh, enlarge on his bear there. Oh my God. That doesn't seem like a very good way to, you know, enact diplomacy. And you see this bear grow, and now now the outhouse is completely destroyed as the bear grows and just kind of pushes everything out of the way and and just just fucks it up, and then he kind of disappears back into the into the house. A little bitch. Um. You see one ape come running out. You see, actually, both apes. And it's, it... it actually looks like decoration or any. He with the sword. I'm just gotta look at what he. Uh... Same thing, just more damage. All right. Um, seventeen to hit. Um, goal. I think that hits you, right? Uh, I'm with Langlock Farmer. Langlock, all right. Uh, seven plus, where is it? Where is it? Ten, ten, ten points of damage. As you get you get hit by a, an ape wielding a sword. <laughs> um, I'm to rage. This ape just kind of comes running out and uh, he's going to pick up a rock and kind of a it's a decent sized rock and he's going to chuck it at he's going to chuck it at you zip mud right. um, and it's going to he go, he goes to chuck it at you and um, he you know he's kind of holding the sword at the same time as the rock and, and he just bounces it off of his sword and it, it kind of hits him in the top of the head and doesn't doesn't do any damage to him but it's, it's a, just a terrible display of of him trying to throw something at you, <laughs> got a natural one. <laughs> and then it's the bear's turn. He's gall. You're the only one there. So he goes to bite you and claw you. Um, the first one is an eight to miss. What about does an eleven hit you? I think that misses too. Or twelve. I'm sorry. Does a twelve hit you? Langlock. A twelve? No. No. Yeah, so he, he goes, you know, he tries to bite you and tries to claw you, and for some reason he just can't seem to hit you. This oversized bear not used to being so big. Brings us to a two. Ah. So I assume he burst out of that outhouse. It's yeah, the outhouse is gone. It's just a base now. So yeah, and I'm a pile gonna... of shit. I'm gonna <laughs> swing up at the big, big old okay. bear. Yeah. <laughs> um, I gotta see. Does his AC go up for being? No, it does For being bigger. Um, a thirteen is gonna hit. Yeah. It's <laughs> I sacked with the chair. Yeah. So you see, you guys see a, a two run up and just pa hit hit him with the hit him with the chair and it, it hurt. Just not. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm so gonna die, but that's worth it. <laughs> so, uh, you got anything else? <laughs> no, I could die happy now. Just... Okay, zip mud. Uh, oh man, I, I want to run up, but I don't. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go up and since I have my friend here, I yeah. will uh, try to hit him. Okay. That's going to hit, and um, as quickly as the bear grew to big size, you see uh, Zip Mud kind of go up and run up, kind of like he did, but he, he's like kind of almost running up the front of him and just kind of stab him underneath the throat, and then he shrinks down, and this bear becomes just like the other one, like a, a human, now buried in a puddle of shit. Uh, <laughs> I guess in his own shit. That's pretty shitty, actually. <laughs> um... I guess I'll take a step over and swing at the uh, first aid guy here then. Yeah, I, I would, I'd imagine you get two of them because you're a horde breaker. Um, sure. Hey, if you're giving it to me, I'm taking it. Yeah, I, I think so. But well, we're know. still in the sun, right? So it's just normal. Yeah, yeah. 11. That's going to uh, hit. 20 with 11 damage. 21. Well, at least I'm swinging yeah. okay, I guess. Yeah, so this this ape here, you know, he um, you end up you swing with your first, you know, swing with one sword, and you kind of stab at the other, and he kind of falls down, and he turns into a little halfling. Oh, but he's he's dead. Oh, no, it's long lost brother. <laughs> and Linglock. Um, now I'm gonna go into a rage. <laughs> All right. That I'm going to monkey. Yep. It's an ape. And I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to swing my vicious great club. Oh, shit. Yes. Half That's of another... my rolls are crits. Oh, my God. Oh, and I get to roll again because... Yep. Oh, oh. <laughs> you want to do this? Oh, <laughs> and you get an extra one D eight on top of this. Yeah, yeah. You get an, yeah, you get an extra D eight on both of them. Jeez. Uh, and you're you're gonna works, be, huh? you get extra to your crit. Possible dice. to like decapitate this dude with a blunt force. Yeah, with though. Yeah. So what you see is you see. Um, you guys see uh, Gaul go into this just freaking this rage. You see him going to before, and he goes running up, and he just kind of, you know, hits him right, right in his neck. And it, the first hit seemed to have broke his neck, and and you can see, you know, with uh, he hits him with such force that the, uh, uh, you know, that some of the skin is broken, and, and some of the, you know the bones kind of protrude a little bit. And then he takes a second swing after that, and just. And you see his head go flying and smack into the side of the, the big. Uh, oh my god! Um, you know, it, it ends up like right about here. Um, hits the bottom of it and just kind of slides down. And <laughs> so oh, you really? see a halfling head flying through the air instead of the ape head, and oh, the no. body just kind of fall. That was <laughs> that was awesome. It was for sure. Uh, all right. Uh, Risney. Um, I'm going to... Yeah, we gotta keep going, right? Because the dude threatened us, and then he went inside, so, like... Yeah. Also, Keith, you're, you're, like, sitting on your... Yeah, he's sound um, kind of weird. Oh, sorry. Is it better? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, <laughs> had my hand on my chin, but apparently that was enough. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so... Like, touch your chin. Is this in the air? Yeah, the only the only way through is yeah. here. You have to climb up there and then go around. Let's do it. It's good. Normal it's good. movement, right? Normal people movement. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Normal people movement. Guys, we're getting a feat on our next level up. Guess who's getting mobile? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then I guess I'm gonna, yeah. Yeah, you, once you get to the, like, near the base there, you can tell that there's nobody in there, and you, you haven't seen the other ape come through, so. 
like a greenhouse. There's no one here. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, two. Oh, I guess you go. Uh, let's see. So she's in there. It's fine in there. So I'm uh, cautiously advance with the chair in hand, <laughs> my cloak billowing behind me. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see. I move twenty five feet. If I dash, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You know, I'm gonna stand right here, and I'll ready an Eldritch Blast if anyone comes into my line of sight. Yeah, you can see the door from there. I'd say that's fine. Or actually, I'll move here. I'll move diagonally to get okay. a better angle. But yeah. All right. Zip mode. I'm, ready an blast. I'm gonna run over here and jump on his back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Goal. I think Lanox is gonna VRB. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Gives us a chance to um, just talk and enjoy each other's company, you know? So, Zipmud, you would know that, that when he goes into a rage like this, he does need to be damaged, potentially, or take an attack to stay raging. So when he gets back, I'll let you... If he allows you and he wants you to, I'll let you punch him in the back of the head or something. I will accept this. <laughs> so, if, if he wants it. Uh like so, Make an attack, so we can like just like attack the, a dead body, right? He's got to attack something. It can't just be. It's it's got to be. He can't just not attack. He can't just swing at the ground or you know swing at a dead body. It's got to be something. That's fair, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it says ends if you haven't attacked a hostile creature. Yeah. Or haven't taken damage since then. But like I said, you guys have been fighting together long enough that I would imagine you put together a plan like this potentially. If I'm mad by just hitting yeah, back it's like calming down the Hulk. <laughs> Except you don't I, want to calm. Put my hand <laughs> and rub it. Sounds good. Sounds and good then just just as he tell, just as he starts to calm down, you just punch him in the face. <laughs> hey, big that fella! Was don't what, calm down. What you doing, big fella? You gotta calm down. <laughs> Come back to this. <laughs> Mac. <laughs> now get back in the goddamn game <laughs> you listen to me when I'm talking to you <laughs> if Akron's barbarian that'd be like what <laughs> like I mean I suppose if, if, he, if we want we can all just do a quick break too if anyone wants to get anything to drink or anything yeah, to eat or whatever yeah. it's potty break time be yeah might as well <laughs> I'm assuming on. normally you're supposed to play this with good aligned characters. No, I mean you can play however the fuck you want. This is <laughs> we, we just kill the sheep, we just give them the sheep, we just stay there on the beach. If you had done that, we would have been done for the night. I'm telling you that. <laughs> like... <laughs> I know, I was trying to just at least start the adventure. <laughs> it's a good thing you made my character not I didn't do that. It was that was completely it was completely beyond. Right beyond. Yeah. It's good thing D and D. How did it? Did you put chaotic neutral there, or did D and D? I put I put chaotic neutral. Okay, but I just I just clicked like, the button. You know, yeah. hold on. I've got Curse of Strahd. Like I've got the book. I'm gonna you know, see what if that alignment if it's like good or whatever. Yeah, I don't know how I came up with that with the haunted one. That's that, that was weird. I don't know if that's just a mistake or it's what. Uh, it's, uh, well, you know what the funny thing is too though. Did did, uh, did Zeph tell you what his what his background is as a kobold? What? <laughs> He's a fucking uh, a noble kobold. <laughs> <laughs> he came noble. from a noble family in the kobolds. Uh, that's hilarious. Let's see. Character options. Character background. Haunted. What, what page is that on? I don't remember what page it's on. I bought the. The uh, roll twenty one as well, so I'm, oh, I okay. click that because it's easier. Ideal, uh, I try to help those in need no matter what the. Yeah, right, so my character is at least good. Yeah. So I'm gonna change okay. it to chaotic good. No, no, you keep them neutral. I don't, I don't, whatever you want, I don't care. I know you're Bob. I'm playing good on characters, and you can't stop. Me. I just don't see you on team being a good good aligned character. Yeah. I see I see him as a chaotic neutral being as good as he gets. Mm. But. Oh, it's a, 
His his ideal is literally I try to help those in need no matter the personal cost. That seems pretty self sacrificing and good to me. Yeah, it does. We can change that. Nah. Good he destroy he, he goes out and destroys evil. Chaotic good if, I think works the best. If it, it would have been different if it was something that we're gonna do more than once, but Right. I gotta imagine we're not gonna see this these guys again. I don't even know where the hell that is on this in the book. It's to the end, I think. I don't even see it. What the fuck? Oh, is, oh, is it probably by the wear rate and stuff? I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. It's in Appendix A, character options. Appendix A. Okay. What was Death House? Ah, oh, Death House is Appendix B. There it is. Yeah. But yeah, no, I've got all this stuff and it's amazing. Sun's blade, sun sword. Oh, and you got a Monster Hunters pack, that's right. That's why you got so much shit. Yeah, because I'm just cool, Bob. Well, you had like 24 things. I'm like, how the hell is he at 24 things? Everyone else has like 10. That makes sense. Oh my god, I have so much stuff. See? Because the Hunter's Pack comes with a ton of stuff. Hey, if you're playing Curse of Strahd, let's be honest, you're going to need it. Yep. Because you're not getting stuff from the from Barovia. Well, you can buy it. says you can buy the Hunter's Pack from Barovia. Someone would have it. Yeah, but like all the shops are like five times gold yeah. cost. Yeah, oh yeah. They were getting pissed when I was doing that. <laughs> oh. I want to run this so badly again. Rovia. Two. about throwing twists into Curse of Strug. Because hmm. it was your turn, so we figured it's a good time to take a break. Oh. Um, Zeph ran up and jumped on your back. And the other two went running into the into the um, the first platform there, as you can see. I was just letting that in. Huh? I gotta get up yeah, like really early for work tomorrow. We're this we're gonna be done pretty quick here. This one's not that long. You guys are actually th this is I'll I'll tell you this is gonna be the last battle. So, because I didn't want to be up that late today neither, so I chose one that's kind of quick and short. So. You'll be good. Maybe another half an hour or so, tops. If you're good with that. But yeah, no, I bought the Roll20 one. It has all the prep work pretty much done. Oh, it's so nice. Because I was running it for a group, and I basically had to download all the stuff, and not all of it, you know. It's not all so easy, but with this, it has all the maps fitted and everything. It's just gorgeous.
blood spear. Huh. What the heck is this weapon? Alright, I'm back if you guys are already. I'm back. All right, so I think uh, Langlock, it was, uh, it was your turn. Like I said, uh, Zip might have jumped on the back of you, hoping that you can be his transport. <laughs> You're up. 5.30. All right, so I'm going to aggressively run. Uh, you have to run towards somebody that you see, unfortunately. But I see, even though I know where they are? Yeah, you can take it. That's fine. You can aggressively run. Go for it. All right, so here is 30. Oh, you have to go up the ramp, though. Oh, the ramp? Okay, cool, cool. Uh, so here's 30, and then 5, 10. Okay, the door is locked. All right, can right, I'm going to swing my, 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 my club at it. Okay. Make a, This would be more of just a strength check. Or you can use athletics. I would have hopped down right here too, because I didn't want to be right <laughs> up on the doors, knowing that I, I know this guy. Yeah, that's cool. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, you as you go running, you're just hauling ass, and that door, you know, that that door is your your enemy. I'll, I'll say it's it'll be it'll be your action. I'll let you keep the rage going because it's not going to matter. And. Uh, you fucking break right through it. Oh yeah. Uh, are you gonna Can go? I keep running right in? Yeah. Go in. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> when you do though, as soon as soon as you break through it though, you are gonna get an attack on you. Let's see, because there's an ape. I don't have him there now because I didn't want you guys to see that he was there. But he'd be oh, like okay. right. He'd be like right there because it'd be he'd be poking out. Otherwise, he'd be basically oh. as soon, as close to the door as he can. And as soon as you come flying through, he's gonna take a swing at you with his sword. And it's gonna be a nineteen to hit. Oh, actually, they get multi attack, don't they? I didn't get the multi attack in the other one, okay. but that's all right. A nineteen to hit and a sixteen to hit. Both do. Twelve points of damage for the first one, so take that down to six because of slashing, and ten points down to five, so eleven total points of damage for you. As the ape just kind of slice, slice, and if he's raging though, it's half, I think. That's what I did. I gave him half. Oh, okay. It was it was twelve for the first one down to six, and then eleven mm. for the second one, or ten for the second one down to five, so eleven total. Okay. And then you have, you see Noke as well being, you know, ready. He's going to throw a ray of frost at you for four points of cold damage. If he opens up, can I see any of them or no? Um, no. Yeah. Not really, because he's kind of covering the door. Yeah, that's fair. Um, do you want to do any... You have you have your actions. Or I actions. Use my oh no, action. you use your action to go through yeah. the door. So yeah. All right. Um, uh, risky. Can I continue charging him? Uh, you get an attack of opportunity. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I mean, if, you, if that's what you want to do, you can do that. Ten. Here was ten. So fifteen. Twenty-five. 30. All right. So that brings us to Risney. Okay. Um, through this door, I'm, if I do not want to get an attack of opportunity, I need to stay kind of in you're this. Going through the door, you're going to, yeah, yes, correct. Um, and since it is small, is it normal movement or still double movement to get through him? Uh, normal. So, um, I'm gonna full movement 
to right here. No, to right here. And I'm going to catch cast Witch Bolt. I don't know. This is a weird spell, but... Say Witch Bolt? But, yeah, on this dude. Yeah. Oh. Fucking hell. Cool. Hmm. More damage that he took from, from you than me. Oh, I have to make a ranged well, spell attack. attack. My bad. Yeah, you have to make attack um, I'm just going to roll Firebolt. It's the same thing. Um, that is... Be squishy, be squishy. That's going to hit him. Yeah. Woohoo! Now you're concentrating on. on it, I take it. I am. I am concentrating. Yeah. Caster, so I will have advantage on any saving throws. <laughs> Oh, every turn, so it's not just one damage every turn, I believe. Yeah, you do. Okay, do you want to do anything else, or is that all you got? That's everything. Okay. Um, you can actually... No, you can't. I was going to say, he took his reaction to attack. No, he... I, I never rolled the attack of opportunity on you, did I? Um, yeah. No, I don't think you did. No. Uh, 14. Just barely. Then I go there. Uh, five, I already halved it. It was 11 points initially, so 5 points of damage. I'm looking rough, boys. Oh, no. But with that in mind, I would have gone here instead then. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's that's what I was trying to think of because I remember when you asked it. Um, so, all right. So now it is Noke's turn. Great. <clears throat> so he's going to go ahead and use his bonus action to cast Expeditious Retreat on himself, and then he's going to use his action to disengage. I think Keith, you're trying to say something. Flaring. <laughs> and he gets I... running out, and you hear a couple doors open and close behind him, and he gets the fuck out of Dodge, and Witch Bolt unfortunately drops Key 3. Or Key 3. That's why I'm mad. Yeah. <laughs> I had to look it up to see if it dropped when he lost, you know, when he, when he got out of there. Yeah. Um, and then that's going to bring us, oh, it's going to be the ape's turn. Let me just make sure I mark off his spell here. Um, well, at this point, the two, the ape appears in your view. So oh, you can go so ahead and reach re your Eldritch Blast. Oh, maybe I'll save you. Oh, not bad. 20 to hit, not, not going to quite kill him, though. Um, so yeah, you see that the ape goes and takes a, goes to take a couple swings at you there, Reesney, and um, he gets blasted by the Eldritch Blast just as he does it. So his first one, I'll give him disadvantage on at the same time, um, and that'll probably be a miss with an eight. Yeah, that's a miss. Good. The second one is a fifteen to hit. That definitely hits. Very um, much that's, hits. That's going to be twelve points of blood uh, slashing damage. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm coming to save you. <laughs> and then, uh, that ends the ape's turn, and that two is up. Ah, uh, how dare you hurt my comrade. And I'm going to smash my chair into him. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh no. Um, no, it's not going to get him. Use my special powers to just obliterate him. You know? What special powers are those? Uh, <laughs> you know, those special powers. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, Zipmund. 
Is it mud? I don't know why I kind of keep saying mud. <laughs> I should be able to see a spot, right? With oh, it. yeah. <laughs> yeah, since um, dudes are there, I'm going to I get three, right? Uh, just two because the horde breaker is it's got to be a different target. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm stupid. So you get two. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, I'm going to swing two then. Okay. And being pack tactics, I get advantage, right? Or am I out in the sun where I'm standing? Um, if you you'd ha if you move into the place, you're not in the direct sunlight anymore. So you can, if you move one more spot, basically go share the space with Reesney or yeah, or there, you're fine. Yeah, I'll just go there. Yep. So now you're yeah. Now it's you have just advantage. the first one. I think it's just one. No, it's both. It's all of them. Oh, okay. Or at least that's the way pack tactics usually works. Well, I read I it, it says uh, you're on a uh, uh, attack. Uh, I want to say it was like. Yeah, on an attack roll against the creature, it doesn't say one or two or whatever. Yeah, it's all it's all your attacks. So how about yeah. a twenty-five? Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna just hit him. <laughs> you uh, yeah, you take this uh, you know, your both both your swords like at the same time and kind of go right in between the eyes, um, and as you do, the ape becomes your size as another halfling body is hanging from your swords. I'm going to kick him off. Yeah. Uh, anything else? I think you had, you had some movement left. Oh. Uh, I had a... I'll probably move right to there. I'm not going to run through the door okay. right now. All right. Goal. I'm going to bonus action charge a healing potion. Okay. Run and just shoulder, continue sprinting and shoulder check the spirit. <laughs> Yeah, this one there's no, there's no lock on it, so you go right through it, no problem. You don't have to worry uh, is about. Is there checking. anything waiting for me inside? Because I'm just gonna continue running. Nothing there. Moved. Shit, where was I? Fifteen, ten, ten. Yeah, ten. You can get all the way up to here with your thirty feet. Cool. I'm gonna get up to here. And there's a door right there that's locked on that platform. You still uh, have an action you can try. I'm going to shoulder check it. Okay, roll. You can use your athletics for it. So you go, you're charging, you're smashing, do it as hard as you can. It feels like you just hit a solid steel wall. It feels oh. like that door was not budging in any way, shape, or form. Didn't feel good. Didn't I'm feel glad good. I try it. <laughs> uh, Risky. We'll chug a health potion because ow. It's probably a good idea. Ow. That doesn't sound very good. Well, there's nobody else around. I mean, why the fuck wouldn't you? It's a good idea, y'all. Y'all are healing now. Uh, and I'm gonna. Um, you would be dra you you would have dropped out of rage, by the way. So you're you're no longer raging at the moment. Yeah, I figured. I have no idea that he didn't that he might have hit magic, potentially. No, yeah, you don't know. I mean, you heard a big thud, and that's about it. So in. Instead, I am going, I, what does the door look like it's made out of? Like all the other doors. Doesn't look any different. I'm going to try to shatter it. <laughs> What's in there? <laughs> well, I can do the thing where he doesn't get hurt. Oh, that's right. Um, yeah, so you, you, you shatter and you hit it, you place it on the door. Yeah. Um, it kind of hits and just kind of, and you see some of the wall crack a little bit, but the door seems to magically stay sound. It is a 10 foot radius, so it's a pretty wide area. Yeah, but it doesn't, it's not going through that door and the, the walls did take some damage, you know, in the okay. crack, but it's, it's a pretty solid, it's a pretty solid structure. Rude. All right. That's fine. It's, you know, it's built out of some old ass oak trees, so. They, the, <laughs> there is some visible damage on the wall, just not enough to, you know, go through or 
anything like that. Looks like it's going to take a few more of those or a lot more of those to get through it if that's what you're trying to do. I was going to say to my, my comrades, I think the door might be magic or something. I kind of got the wall to crack. I don't know, but we think he's in there. Go forth and prosper. <laughs> <laughs> Um, inside there, you kind of hear some shuffling around and, and, you know, just doesn't just sound strange and you hear just a huge crash come from it, from that room. I wonder what that could be. Trust me, you really do. Wait until you see the token for this key three. So excited. <laughs> and yeah. you hear another crash come through the ceiling in the main yes. hall right here. Here, I'll move the guy so you can see the full-on token. And what you guys see is a little – it's strange. You've never seen this before. Um, you see here yeah, – it's, it's like – Looks like a dragon that's carved from wood with billowing bed sheets for wings and a tail that ends in a soft pillow. Um, you, you guys are looking at a bed dragon wormling. <laughs> a bed so, dragon wormling. Remember that time you were offered a bed for your horse? The offered the what? Bed. So Langlock was offered a bed for the horse that he asked for? Oh, yeah. That would have been the bed. That's your bed. the bed. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. And he's riding. And he's riding it, yes. <laughs> because what else would you do? <laughs> you get you get the sense that he used his um you know, his wand of true polymorph on this bed. And the the crazy thing is I rolled initiative for it and he got thirteen the same as him. Dang. Yeah, so um, I'm kind of expediting this fight a little bit because I know Langlock said he had to go, or he wanted to get get to bed a little earlier. So he's gonna land, um, or not not really land. He's gonna he cr have. crash through. What's that? But that's cool. Chill, chill. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna crash through, and um, the the wormling has used all his movement to get here. Um, but Noke, what's he gonna do? He's going to reach down. He's going to touch the wormling. He's going to go ahead and cast haste on him. Oh, F you. <laughs> it's not cool, dude. Well, actually, let's see. Who was first? Who was first here? A plus two. And what does Noke have? A plus two. All right. Um, well, wait. Well, I don't know if the wand counts as using roll. an action. He used that on his last one. No. Roll. Uh, who wants to roll for? I'll just fucking do it. <laughs> so the the pink d20 that I'm gonna roll is for the dragon bed, and the other one is for the Noak. See who goes first. All right. Luckily for you guys, the dragon bed went first. <laughs> so that means Noak could not have cast it on him. <laughs> there we go. Um, but so Noke is going to cast the haste, and that'll end his turn at two. So now there are brawlets, call it 20 feet up in the air. This is a thing that I'll need more than just my chair. Um, with my good old billowing cloak, I will reach behind and like, hey, Noke, look over here. And then my hand will pop out, and I'll blast him in the face with Eldritch Blast. Okay. Noke himself, right? <laughs> yeah, Noke himself. Okay. Ah, never mind. <laughs> uh, and I'll take some cover back here and then run it with the intent of running back into the room when it's about my turn again. Okay. All right, got it. Sorry, I'm just checking something. All right, uh, Zip Mud, you're up. There's a dragon bed with Noke riding on it about 20 feet above you. 
And there's no, like, naked people in it, like the picture, right? <laughs> and you can't see the top of the bed. So oh, yeah, I'm not calling up, right? <laughs> That's what I thought was so funny about that picture, is it actually has people sleeping in the bed. Looks like two dudes. <laughs> it might, it could be, I don't know. Here, um, can I blow it? You, want, you want to see a better shot of it? No, I think it's... A, <laughs> one almost, they almost look like dummies. They don't even look like real people, no. almost. Anyway. Those are real people. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, I can't really see him in mm -hmm. the bed, I guess. So I'm going to just start chopping at the bed. Okay. Uh, it's 20 feet above you. Oh, oh, it's up there. I'm going to shoot with my arrow, yeah. then. Yeah, that's, that's what I figured. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's going to... It, it, Sticks in it, it's just in the bottom of the bed, but it doesn't seem to, you know, do much damage to it. The F it, nothing. Dang it's it. a miss. And nobody's near me or nothing. Dang it. No. Um. So if he's twenty feet, I can move, right? That's yeah. The... Correct. Uh. Actually, I'm gonna run in. I'll run in here. Okay. Hey, bro. Hey. <laughs> I, All right. I just shot um... a bed. Weirdest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> that, really, uh, that certainly did something. I I bet you showed him. All right, Gull, you um you heard the crashing in that room, and you also heard the crashing behind you. Is he smart enough to know to turn around? I'll let you make this call. <laughs> uh, you can roll for it. Hear the fighting behind me, though. You would have heard the crash through the bread, and you would have heard yeah, you would have heard some spells, and you'd have heard stuff like that, and. There's there's more action going on behind you, yes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make an intelligence roll, but only have to be like an eight. Okay, Which... fair enough. <laughs> oh my god! Um, I'm just gonna swing my club at the crack from the wall that Keith restarted making. Okay. Yeah. So so go ahead. <laughs> athletic. Yeah, go ahead and roll athletics for it. Yeah, so you smash into him and uh, roll. Go ahead and roll damage for your your great club. Not raging. So yeah, twelve points. So that's it. Cracked cracked a little more, and it's you know it's starting to give weight. I mean, it's you when you look at it, you're probably gonna have to make I don't know four to five more hits like that in order to make any progress on the walls. You know, the walls again. It's an it's an old oak tree. It's a solid oak tree. So, Fair. you have some movement. Uh, I, I'm I'm just gonna keep pounding away on the wall <laughs> All right. until I have a valid reason not to. <laughs> All right, Risney. Um, uh, you, I'm gonna. You, you, you would see him beating the hell out of the wall still. <laughs> I'm gonna shout, "Come here and kill this dragon, you idiot!" <laughs> <laughs> nice. On the dragon. What's that? Earthbind on the dragon. Oh, nice. So he needs a strength save. Yeah. All right. So he got a 10. You guys see? Hey! Yeah. Again, that was one of those one the spells that I didn't even know you were going to need it, but it's working. It's going to work out. Um, let's see. You guys see yellow strips of like this energy kind of just wrap around the dragon. Actually, I guess Zipmud and Risney, you guys are the only ones that can kind of see it. Risney, you probably have to move to cast that. Oh, I thought I could see it through here, but that's totally fine. I'll move no, like. there's a door. Here. Like, if, So if I move them, like if I move them, you'll see that there's a door only right here. So he'd have been above that door. Oh, there. Because he's 20 feet. But yeah, right there, you can see him. Um, so yeah, you see these yellow magical strips just kind of start pulling him down. He's slowly. Uh, um, see, I think I'll safety descends to 60 feet per round. Okay. So, yeah, he looks like he's starting to fall out of the sky. Anyway. Yeah, you got some movement left, or? Um, let's see. Right Where am I going? Here. Five, 10, 15. So, yeah, okay, five feet. Um, yeah, there, there's good. Okay. 
All right, it is the bed dragon wormling. At this time, he gets to the ground. You know, he coasts the ground nicely, but he's he's there, and uh, he's gonna look around. And man, I guess he knows that you're the he. He's gonna see that you're the one casting it and make he's gonna use his uh his splinter breath on you risky oh no i was so worried <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, he's not he's he's not smart it's a bed and he's gonna use the strongest thing he can to attack yep here we go y'all here we go no, no. I, need dex, I need a dexterity saving throw from you <clears throat> great mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. yeah oh, no. yeah no so I die if I reach oh my um, God. thirty. If it's thirty or more, I die. All right. Let's see here. I'll I'll let you see what it is. Twenty <gasps> twenty two points of damage. I'm just out. I'm just knocked out, y'all. <laughs> As basically what you guys see is you see um, this this dragon wormling thing bed dragon wormling it's called splinter breath so you just see a shitload of splinters come flying out of his mouth um and then smash right into a uh, wrist uh, and you see that those yellow binds that were binding him kind of dissipate and he's going to use his movement now to fly back up and he's now uh, 20, 25 feet in the air no, he was 20, so he'd only be able to use... He's 10 feet in the air. All right. Noke is up. So he's going to... He's going to be holding an action. Oh, a legendary hold action. A two. Yeah, I just heard my my friend get splintered. Oh shit! Hold on a second. Out. Go back to where you were. Okay. Oh, well, all right. So the dragon is actually going to. I forgot the dragon has haste on him. <gasps> no. So I got. I'm just trying to find a mark for him. Who is going to get rough? Yeah. Thanks, Bob. This whole bit, is, he's doing it totally in character with the, uh... With the Wormling. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Noak would do, like... He's a little coward, so... The Wormling, unfortunately, doesn't see anything that is... No, I guess he's gonna, he's gonna work his way through this door. Instead of <laughs> flying up. And he's going to take a, a swing at you, Zip Mud. All right. Um, 15 to hit. Nope. No. He goes to try, as he tries to bite down on you, you're able to, you know, kind of move out of the way. And then, all right. So that's his hasted action. He's got, he's not going to move because he doesn't want the attack of opportunity. Which then makes it so it's Snoke's turn, or Noke's turn, not Snoke, Noke. And um, this actually, that, that works out better for Noke here. He's going to, I don't have a 40 foot cube, but a 40 foot cube would probably hit Zip Mud and uh, what's his face out there? Goal, you guys think? Probably. So he's going to cast Slow. Wow, yep. Mm -hmm. On Zip Mud and Noke, or no, Goal. You guys are both need to. What does he got to do? 
Wisdom saving throw, please, from both you guys. What is this DC? Ooh, nice job. Goal, I need a wisdom saving throw, or Langlock. 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 I'll sleep again. All right. So, uh, Key 3 you're going to have goal now. <laughs> the use. Gotcha. <laughs> if you can do a wisdom, you should see him now. If you can do a wisdom saving throw, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, so he is slowed. Oh, no. Oh. But Zip Mud was able to successfully save against it mm -hmm. so um he's got minus two for his ac and on de and any dexterity saving throws is minus two and on his turn he can only use an action or a bonus action but not both regardless okay. of his abilities or magic items it can't make more than one melee or range attack during his turn uh, he's not going to cast any spells uh, at the end of his turn he makes another wisdom saving throw So, all right, I can let you know what it is again after if you need help. <laughs> uh, a two, now you are up. Oh boy, so I'm just gonna, my buddy is dying over here. I'm just gonna slap some ointment onto her. Okay. And I'm like, hey, get up, we still need you. Oh, I'm almost at half of my hit points. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> my, my accent just keeps on changing throughout yeah, this entire yeah, thing. No. As, as the battle changes, so does so does a two's accent. I mean, it could be the my flaw the spirit's taking over. <laughs> you sound like an anime. I I am an a two is an anime. <laughs> uh, I, I would I would think he'd be rolling his s's more though. Extending them. <laughs> Listen, okay, I can only do so much. Hey, I'm right there with you. I'm gonna I'm hide right behind you. You're good. Over here. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm Zip just. Mud. I don't think I can. Yeah, because I don't. Think, I'm pretty sure I don't really have a bonus action. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you have one, you can use it. Oh, but... uh, let me check. Yeah. Is false life bonus action? Nope. Nope. Whole person? Nope. Scorch mm -hmm. rain? Probably not. Yeah. I think you're probably right. Yeah. All right. Um, zip mud. Would it be uh, an action to light a torch? Mm-hmm. And then could I uh, see? I wouldn't be able to attach it. Uh, it. It would take my action, right, to attach it to an arrow and everything. Right. Right. Yeah. That would it have would. to wait around. So I'll, I'll. I won't worry. About well, he, he's right up on you right now. Oh, okay. He's because uh, he remember he ca he crawled through the door and tried to bite you. So yeah, might as well do. Uh, I'll do sh uh, short swords then. Okay. Oh man. Yeah, that one. That one's gonna miss. You kind of swing and you, it, for a second there, you confuse the bed with the table, and it's like shit furniture, and you hit the table, and you're like oh wait 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 wait, and you turn back and you, you smack him. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The table. The table says it's okay. Yeah, and then I swung twenty one. Yeah, six. that one hits him. <laughs> That's all I got. I'm. I'm. I'm not gonna run away. I'll just stay right there right now. Okay. Um, it is Gull's turn. Okay, is he raging right now? No. All right, he's going to frenzied rage. All right. <laughs> And that's all he can do. But he's going to make a wisdom save. <laughs> yep. Still is freaking is slow. Still slowed, unfortunately. Uh, Risney, you stand up if you want to and half your stand movement. Up. And you're up. Yeah. Um, would I be able... Is there any... So I have... Okay, let me just show you the spell I want to use. Okay. That. <laughs> Uh, spell card. 
I think um, Considius used to have this spell. What is it? Which one is it? Agnazar Scorcher. Oh, yeah. Is there any way I can, like, shoot it at one and hit both? Um, five feet wide. Yeah, you can put it in between them, sure. What I would like to do. Okay. Dexterity saving throw for them. I gotta check. Does haste give him bonus to that, right? Bonus to your yeah, AC. It's, it's, it's the it. opposite of um, slow. Well, it, it gets advantage two, right? instead of no advantage on dexterity saving throws. Hmm. So, all right. Um, so he's gonna make his dexterity saving throw. He made a 16. That uh, succeeds. Okay, and then the other guy, a 20. But you still take damage, right? Half. Oh, I don't I... have to do a no. roll for that. No, you don't have to do a roll for it. That's silly. So half, so 15 is what, 7? They each take 7. As that flame hits the... Uh, that wormling, it turns and just stares at you. And oh, look <laughs> at that! It's, 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 you got movement. I think you got like ten feet left or five feet left. I st stood up. Yeah, you got fifteen, so you got ten feet left. Right. <laughs> um. Yeah, remember you're not small right now. <laughs> that was, mm -hmm, and I'm just gonna go ah. <laughs> <laughs> if we if we run in different directions, I'm not ever be able to get us. All right. So it just seen you cast that and fire, and it knows it's going to take some attacks, but it doesn't matter. It's going to come back out at you because you use fire on it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Not like when he uses fire on it. Um, Zip Mud gets an attack of opportunity. Yeah, I think and Gold will too. Goal will too, yeah. I mean, it doesn't say anything about no reactions, so. She was no, rolling this. Uh... They are both going to miss. <laughs> um, so many eights. Hey, Risney, you're going to hate me, Key 3, because he rolled a five on his recharge. It's chill. Come at me, bro. No. Hey, at, let's find out that number, shall we? Uh, <laughs> 25. Oh, God. I just got to see if he can. No, he's not. Yeah, he's going to just come out. Bro, go ahead and roll your save. Please pass, please pass. Oh, it's a deck save, right? Yeah. No, no, it's a, yeah, deck save, deck save, correct. You know what, let me just see if for some reason I have something that could help me with this. The answer is probably no, but you never know. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> no. Right. You just succeeded. Yes! <sighs> 24 points of damage. My friends. That almost would have killed you. And go ahead and mark off two death saving throws. Wait, what? Is that the ha the, the success? Uh, that, no, that, oh, 12, I'm sorry, 12. Are you still up? Uh, no. But I don't know. I'm less so yeah, dead. Mark, mark off two death saving throws because he's gonna bite your corp, your lifeless body. That's fair yeah, because he found that I did the fire. Yeah, that is rude. Yeah. yeah. It specifically says that this thing is gonna target anything that gives it fire. <laughs> yeah, you know, I I deserved that. That was. <laughs> that, was... <laughs> Sorry. that was not deserved. <laughs> the bed, the wooden bed with sheets, does not like fire. I don't, I don't know why. Trickle choice to do that attack, though. So, you know what? Yeah. I'll start loving more. <laughs> All right. Um, Noke is up. I need a two to make a wisdom saving throw. I believe it is. You see him? I got to make sure that's what it was. They're slow? Yeah. All, my, all my saves are plus one, except for Khan. Okay. Um, as you see... Oh, it's magic, uh, so I have advantage. Yeah, go ahead and roll again. Yeah, I'm good. Even better, you're good. He tried to cast Polymorph on you. 
<laughs> I was, oh, he would have polymorphed me, and then I couldn't save Risney, and Risney died. Like, I would have been really upset. Yeah, he was gonna he was gonna try to polymorph you into a a, a snake. <laughs> yeah, I'm double upset. Damn. All right, um, that is going to be his, yeah, he's, that's it. Um, the wor- the wormling at this point is just kind of standing over Risney's body, like. <laughs> so uh you want some restorative ointment <laughs> you go hey, that's health guys Woo. <laughs> you will not touch her all right you got anything else or is that all your movements <laughs> uh unless you want to <laughs> give me some some bonus actions here no like... not if you don't have them <laughs> Stop targeting our wizard. <laughs> She's the one that cast fire. I can't help it. Uh, well, if you give mud. me a chance, I'll cast the fire. Zip mud is up. The dragon is now on the ground. I'm gonna run in and try to swing at him. Okay. So actually, I get three, don't I? Uh, no, just two. Because oh, uh, oh, uh, is he? I, I would have to climb up. You have to climb up or run around or something like that, but the climb up would be. Yeah, I mean, I'm I guess, just gonna do two. I mean, I guess I could, I, you could climb up if you could do a good dex. Well, I'll try it. But so I, do your first, do your first two first because you, you know you hit them, or if you want to do a kind of a yeah, just do your attacks and then your first two attacks, then give me the dex check, or I'll give you acrobatics on it. So two attacks and an act, or do you? Because do you want to use both? Yeah, do you want to use, use your both. action and your bonus action on the wormling? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and roll those first. Yeah, I got a twenty-two and a nine. Oh, you rolled them? Yeah. I didn't. Oh, there they are. Uh, the twenty-two will hit, and so that's gonna do ten points. That's pretty good. And then, oh shit! Hey, Keith, how much damage you do on that fire before? Cause it hit him right. It would have been seven, so it's 14. Yep. We got to do another seven. He did, the, the fire did a lot of extra damage to it. Did it? To be fairly vulnerable, yeah. Um, and then you're able to, yeah, you go ahead and roll, make an attack against the guy. Because you, you were able to get up there. 15. 15 is going to hit for an eight. Nice. Um, and then you'll end up, oh shit, where'd you go? You're going to end up on this square here. Right? <laughs> yeah, you're going to end up right here. All right. There you go. So you guys see um, Zip Mud go running, and he kind of takes a jump, and he stabs his short, his first short sword like into the what would have been the, uh, I guess, the headboard of the bed, and uses that momentum, and, and that does the damaging to him. Uses that momentum to pull himself up, and as he does, he tries to swing and, and cut one of the wings and just kind of misses it. Um, and then comes down onto the on top of the dragon, and is able to stab uh, Noak, kind of a glancing blow on his side, and then kind of roll off and and land next to him. Yay! Thank you. Awesome. It, it was it was pretty cool looking. Uh, it is Cole's Gold's turn. Hey, we're gonna run up, and we're gonna attack. That's much yeah. better. And since he's frenzied, he gets an extra attack, right? No. Can only do one, and I can oh, still he's... only do one. Yeah, only because he's slowed, he can't get the extra one. Oh, with slow, it even cancels yeah. multi attack. Yep. It's a, yeah, it's, he can't do. No matter what the skill says, he can only use one attack, one melee or ranged attack. Oh, that's. And now it's me. Now it's um, Christy, Yep. Okay, here's my question. Mm-hmm. Did the amount of damage I do last time, if I did the same amount again, it might die? Uh, he's looking burnt, but he's, I think he's a little, little under half damaged, so he's starting to look a little rough. Do uh, some yeah, kind he's of... right about half HP, so he's starting to look a little rough. You know, so right. piece do I do fire off. again or not? Because I'm definitely going to die next turn if he comes after me again. Uh, get behind me and do fire? 
No, because you'll get an opportunity attack. If if you do fire and somehow don't go down, I'll follow it up with some fire. That is the question. Brain hands, all right. Dexterity. So I get both of them. Yeah. Chill. Uh, natural 20 for the wormling. Also, God so damn it! Is haste five. concentration? Ah, uh, good question. It's not? I know it's not. Yeah. Or you sh- hold on. I'm gonna look it up because sometimes <laughs> the compendium is accurate. <clears throat> no, I'm I do sure. believe the polymorph is concentration though. Which one? The one that failed? Bed. See, that's it. Didn't make any sense to me. It says true polymorph, but the wand doesn't give you any kind. It, it's coming off a wand, so I changed it. Fair, chill. <laughs> um, so they, so Nokta takes the damage, full on. All right. I guess technically the dragon does too because it's well. First it'd be have, so it'd be he takes one less. He takes ten. All right. Anything else for you? Hmm. That's a good question. Let me just... Any... Mm-mm. No? Okay, okay. Uh... Shout. Screw you! And <laughs> cross, cross my fingers and hope I don't die. <laughs> yeah. Well, he didn't get his charge back. Yes. yes. But he's still gonna work on biting me. Sure. <laughs> but I think he's less likely to get, you know, number twenty-seven points in one go. Is it uh, twelve to hit? That will hit. Yeah. For twelve points of damage. No. I'm down, friends. Um, two death saving throws. Huh? Hate <laughs> this guy. Oh, I, I, you know what? I didn't even clear them last time, so it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> Times, guys. <laughs> um, and then. Noak is, you know, noticing this and <laughs> he's going to cast Levitate on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come at me, bro. <laughs> and he's going to levitate you 20 feet up. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. <laughs> he's, uh,. He's seeing the bed. You know, the bed is his best defense, and you're fucking it up. <laughs> a two. Would I be able to, like, is that a table right there? There's next no way for you to get to Risney right now. Mm. I'm talking about jumping 20 feet in the air. Fine, Unless then. There's something wants... magical that can do it, but. Uh, let's see. Uh... Is levitate not concentration neither? Hold. It's not? I gotta check that, because maybe the compendium's wrong, like in this one, too. Uh, I looked it up, and I didn't see that Haste is going through. I'll check my player's handbook real quick. I got it right here. You do your thing. Okay. It is well, concentration. It is. Haste or levitate? No, levitate. I, oh, I'm yeah. 90% sure haste isn't. But I'll check again. Yeah. Oh, it is concentration. So he's been getting hit a couple times. Yeah, so he needs to make some con saves. Yeah. Fuck, I don't even remember what the damage is. Uh, it, I don't think there was anything over 10, so... If it was, it was minor, so it wouldn't be enough to raise the DC. Yeah, he's he's good. He's good. He made all of them? Yeah. So then he wouldn't be able to cast Levitate, then, unless he no, takes he wouldn't. Um, But he'll, yeah, he'll drop... He'll drop haste. Oh, he'll drop it. <sighs> yeah. I gotta double-check to make sure slow is not, though. See, I think slow fucking... is because it wasn't on the on there but go do you do your thing 
fuck, it is concentration. He's got a ring of concentration to get up through concentration spells at the same time. There we go. Woo. Okay. So he's levitating. I'm going to step yeah. back. And, yeah, his person can make an attack of opportunity. A 13 to hit. It's going to miss. miss. Okay. I'm going to launch a scorching ray uh, at this at this thing. Okay. And once it's dead, I'm aiming them all at him. How many do you get? I get a total of three. Okay. So scorching ray, one at um Oh god. That one goes um, wide. Come on. I hate so much I am mad. Oh my god. No. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Fortunately, I don't get him. Do I really have nothing that can work for the. She dies and be so pissed. Like. Alright. Huh? Anything else? No, no, I don't have anything. Right. Zip mud. So, how's everyone looking health wise? Uh, we have a party member at two death saves that we can't get to. She's floating up in the air. Um, I'm gonna uh, cast Cure Wounds on her. That's touch. Oh, that is? Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, Gold could use some. Gold could use some. The what is it? I'm sorry? Gold, Gold. could use some health. Uh, if you want to help him. Yeah, I'll move around and do cure, cure wounds. Okay. Uh, six. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, any bonus actions? Um, since I did that, can I can I do my sword? Or do I have no. to do an attack with the other it's one? It's got to be an attack. Okay. Yeah. Um, then... Um, I'm... Just gonna just say I hate you. <laughs> bad. I hate bads now. Relatable. <laughs> okay. Go. Murder the bed. Oh. Yes. He gets an extra attack, and he's not slowed he's unless not. He's he doesn't get, he does not get an extra attack. Why not? Because he's he's slowed. But then he wouldn't have the concentration on levitate then. I the, just said he's got a ring, he's got a ring that allows him to do it. Right, well, oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 23 mm -hmm. total points. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the bed is falling apart, holding himself together Fair. just enough. <gasps> just barely three points. <gasps> he wasn't slow. He's not slowed anymore. All right. He has something going for him. All right, y'all. Are you ready to see me die? No. Are you ready? <laughs> no. Uh -oh. See the death save. I die! Oh. <laughs> I'm upset with this double concentration book. I'm so mad. Wonderful. The only reason I added it is because it was so we were so far into everything happening that it, it would have been it changed the whole game because it's the stupid thing doesn't say it's concentration. Because you cheated. I see how it is, bum. It's yep. totally was death. It, I, I'll tell you one thing. If this was a, the, our normal game, that would not have happened. I promise you that. <laughs> <laughs> so the, I guess it's the dragon is up, and he's looking really rough, but very happy that uh, the person that <laughs> was hitting him with the fire is gone. Um, but he did see that you, can't, you know, put some fire on him, so he's going to take a step and. Zip mud, you get an attack of opportunity. Get him, get him. That's gonna kill him. Nice. So that means he stays there. That's... So yeah, as you as you ended up, uh, you kind of hit, and you, you kind of you, you stab in the mattress as the guy starts to, <laughs> as the dragon starts to work its way toward it too, and kind of just slice across the mattress and. Um, and you just kind of see all the the springs and the you know, <laughs> what would be blood. It's more wood and springs and uh, uh, innards of a mattress go flying out, and then and the bed kind of falls apart. Um, when that happens, Noak starts to look around. He's you know gets starts to get real worried, and he kind of he pulls out his wand of true polymorph and looks at you at two. 
and goes to cast it on you and um it just it seems like the wand itself you, you know you would be in some type of magic you can see it's kind of got this this crackling this fizzling going on and and it malfunctions and allowed just explosion but and a lot of bang and and you see you know once the smoke clears um he is gone however there is some just disgusting looking creature that is it's a mishap misshapen pile of flesh bellow that bellows incoherently from dozens of mouths uh, dozens of mouths I forgot and, uh, about you did, this. You just kind of hear about, you know, oh, you guys hear these voices around you now, and it's just like, you, you don't even know what to make of it. That's nothing new for a two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And what the, do I, where the fuck? Why is this thing messing up so much? Stupid. Um, who's next? A two year up. Yeah, cool. I'm beating it to death. <laughs> All right. You're gonna have to give me a minute because for some reason it's just like the bear and it didn't pop up the way it's supposed to. Holy fuck. All right. Uh, yeah, that's gonna hit. Um, Uh, where were you? Where did you start at? Right here. Okay, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Is it against magic? Uh, no. Oh, I'm sorry, strength saving throw. Strength saving throw. Same, same score. Same score. Okay, you're good. It, it's as you kind of start your turn where you were. It. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, Risney's body falls down and just kind of boom, boom. You know, bounces off the ground, limp. Um. And then I need you to I need you to make its wisdom saving throw as well. So that is you can't take any reactions until the start of your next turn. And I need you to roll a D eight before you do your thing. This is a weird one. <laughs> Did you roll a d8? Yeah, I rolled it. It's right there. Uh, what'd you get? I don't see it. Seven. Seven. Um, you can't. For some reason, this all this mouth, the incoherent babble around you. You, you look around to fight and attack somebody, and you down you see Risney's dead body. You just kind of stab it once, or hit it with your chair once, and unfortunately, you can't do anything. <sighs> I just want to beat this thing and strangle it into nothing. <laughs> uh, Zip Mud, I need you to make a strength saving throw and then a wisdom saving throw. Okay, you're good on the strength. All right, roll a d8. Let me know if you roll it because it's not. Okay, there you go. A seven as well. Um, I need you to make an attack against a uh, goal. Rude. Oh, damn. The goal takes 10 points of slashing da or piercing damage, half the five. Five, great. As, as the gibbering, you know, the mouths around you there just don't seem to, you know, for some reason it's just, it's telling you guys what to do and you don't know why. Same, same, same goes for goal here. Strength and then wisdom. That one's good. <sighs> D8. Great, great job, guys. We're doing so well. Um, yeah, that you'd think that would be good, but now I need you to, you know, Gull gets pissed at Zip Mud for hitting him, <laughs> and Gull needs to take another swing at Zip Mud. Good. Thank goodness you missed. Yeah, you missed. <laughs> Man, this thing is even harder than Noak. What the hell? This is yeah, like, it's this is <laughs> bullshit. It's that boss. Into. Yeah. Oh, Risney. We'll take you off of there. Where, where, oh, the dragon where, where, gone. Oh, it's its turn now. Um, uh, 
All right, so you guys are going to see it's, it shoots this, this chemical block glob coming out of one of its mouths. And I need glo uh, goal and um, zip mud to make deck saving throws. Okay, give me one second. Do I have danger sense yet? Yes. Nation. Have advantage. Yep. This is fucked up. It is. It's all, it almost like someone was killing our down member. Amazing. <laughs> the this glob explodes in a blinding flash of light, and um, you're blinded until the end of the next the, this gibbering mouth next turn. <laughs> oh man, this is fucked oh. up. We'll use that one because it looks cool. So this is same same thing there, um a two. Strength wisdom. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't care which one you give me first. It's up oh, to you. Oh great. You know. <laughs> you, you're you're good you can do your normal thing. I can? Oh yep. great. The eleven was a, the eleven was, eleven was a success. I'm gonna lose my mind if I am <laughs> so frustrated with this stupid thing. I just wanna be there. Are you gonna move anywhere? <laughs> What's the point? I'm gonna move right here. Yeah, I guess. You need to get closer, okay. Zip mud, I need you to make uh, strength and wisdom. Good on the strength. You're good on the wisdom. You can do whatever you want to do on this turn. Well, what I could do while I'm blind. <laughs> you can, yeah, I mean, you just uh, get... Oh, true. I remember the direction, so I'm going to take a step. Yeah. And I'm going to just try to swing at him so it's just disadvantage, right? Uh, it's actually a straight roll because you still technically have pack tactics. and oh. te Technically, a two is there, so it's a straight roll. Sweet. Well, I'm gonna do. Uh, yeah, I'll do two then. Mm -hmm. That's gonna hit. Yeah. Nice. Seventeen. So blinded, you're swinging better than you were unblinded. <laughs> so, Twenty-four seven. What? What was your net? What is your natural one attack? By the way. Plus eight. So it'd be eight. eight. So just give you a heads up, as long as you don't roll a, uh, a natural one, you're going to hit this thing. Wait. But then how did I miss if I rolled a nine? nine? Oh, shit, you did roll a nine. You did hit him. Eight. Yes. <laughs> then if I hit him, I would have stayed away because I'm... Yeah, you, know, you hit him. Points. Sorry. It is a nine. Uh, Ghoul needs to do a strength. Wisdom. All right, strength. Okay. Good there. And wisdom. Good there. He can do what he wants. Why is his oh, strength? He's raging. Yeah. Yeah. I know more about playing a barbarian than no, he is, He's frenzy raging. Yeah. So it's like here for for. Oh wait, it's a is event. No, oh, it's not advantage. Fuck. I was gonna say reckless, and I forgot. It's okay. I it's alright. Reckless, yeah. But you still you get another attack. Yeah. Boo. Oh, Fourteen. All right. It's the model's turn. He doesn't get his blinding spittle back, but he's gonna make two bite attacks. Let's see. Oh, I technically he had another bite attack last time, but and I'm not worry. blind, right? It was after my ne my next turn. No, you're still blinded. Oh, okay. It's after his turn. His turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. All right, so he's going to you zip mud and one on the other guy. Uh, goal. All right. So goal is going to be uh, six plus two, so 18. I'm guessing that hits. Yeah. And then I'm guessing a seven is going to miss you zip mud. Yes. Uh, holy shit, this guy does some fucking damage. He's, he's going to have to make a strength saving throw. Yeah, he's good. 
Uh, 19 points of damage, uh, piercing, so have, so have to All nine. Right. Excellent. He's much stronger than Nuke. <laughs> he is. All right. That ends his turn. So you're no longer blinded, but a two has to make strength wisdom. So the strength, what is going on with the strength is it seems to be like the ground is uh, like a dough like terrain, and you got to move your way through it um and the reason you're making wisdom saving throws is because of the um you know you just hear this this gibbering coming from his mouths so did you make them do you guys hear me mm-hmm. oh a two you need to do your strength wisdom. Oh. strength wisdom strength wisdom right my use oh my god d8 D A. Uh... Oh, it's something Four. different. The creature does nothing. Oh, I do you not. Just oh, okay. Stand there. You hear the gibbering in your mouth, and it's just, you know, or gibbering in your ears, and you're just kind of lost in the. You're trying to. You're trying to understand what it's telling you, and it's just. Oh, you're kind of hearing this. It's just nothing. Uh, Zip mud. Zip mud. Strength. Wisdom. D8. Six. That's a different thing. So. Roll another D8. Please. So you are going to use your movement. Who did we lose? Mm-hmm. I think that was Langlock. Oh, yeah. Langlock. You're going to use your full movement to move in that direction. This direction here. No. So you can get to right. You're basically going to move to there. And he's going to try to bite you, of course. Uh, 15 plus 2, 17. That is my armor class. So you do. 22 points of damage. As ah. I have to go running away. Wow. You still up? Yeah, I, I actually haven't okay, got hit once since we came in here, so that was the first <laughs> Oh, I'm shit. At, I'm at 11. <laughs> you were about to get fucked up by the dragon, but then Keith and Risney. Yeah. That's right. Strength That's is. Risney sacrificed herself for us. Of course, the strength is good. Wisdom? <laughs> Fucking hell. D8. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> This is going so well, my dudes. Yeah, he looks, uh... Oh. He's close enough. He gets an attack on the gibbering mouth. Yes. Can he do this recklessly? That's the only random... It says it's a randomly determined creature within its reach. And that's the only creature within its reach. Um, Do I Can I do it reckless great weapon master? Sure, yeah. Reckless Great it's Weapon normal, Master. Yeah, it's a normal attack, so you're good. I heard, did it go? Okay, there it is. 25. Nice. So 13. 23. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You needed a 9. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. 23 for damage. Yeah, no, he's not quite dead. But he's rough. Really, really rough. He's not dead after 20. Oh, no. Um... No, he he'll be dead, and if another hit comes his way, um, I guess Ghoul he's gonna go two bite attacks on him. I'm dead. So uh, a seven, a six is gonna miss, but a nineteen will hit. Uh, eight points of damage. Halved number, or is it four? It's eight. It was sixteen halved. Well, all right. I'm barely up. He's barely up. Yep. So he's, mm-hmm. he's, he got hit by eight. Strength, wisdom. Yeah. <sighs> so you can't move right now. You're you're trying to move through that that nasty dough like terrain, and you're stuck. So I so I'm stuck. Okay, but I got the wisdom. I don't need to move. Yep. I can still hit him. Yeah, you can still do something. I'm gonna blast him. Probably miss, to be honest. But you know, oh, no, that hey, gets him. That. What a pleasant and surprise! 
finally, you guys see this agonizing blast go flying at him, and it hits him, and it just kind of explodes in this, like, nasty, gooey bunch of skin kind of everywhere. And the, the strange thing is it doesn't turn back into, um, nope. It just is a blob that, that's gone. And we are, so, that, that's the end of the yeah. battle. Yeah. I'll pick up our dead wizard. <laughs> Look at our son. <laughs> You know, just to give you a heads up, you, she was going to die whether she did the uh, saving throw or not. I mean, if you hadn't levitated her, she wasn't going to. I know. Well, I'm just saying even if she made that that saving throw, he just had to drop levitate and she was falling. Mm. I mean, technically she wouldn't have been able to levitate in the first place, but, you know. Yeah, it worked I'll out right. be dead. You shouldn't have been able to do a lot of things that I, that I missed. <laughs> Nook, read the, so. Nook read the player's handbook, threw that away, and was like, nah, I'm doing it my own way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'll show you this sheet doesn't show uh, concentration on no, those I, two I spells. No, I believe you. So I blame Roll20 because yeah. Roll20 messed everything up recently. Yeah. Uh, I, don't know, I guess now that we're done, I'm like, uh, I guess tell the sheep man to come back in here. We dealt with his problem. So Gull runs to here yeah. and just shouts to the ether, like, Sheep man! <laughs> we got him! Yeah, sheep man comes running. And he, so he sees Gull first. <laughs> yeah, he sees Gull's fir- Gull first, and he, all, all, he, you know, he Gull just hears nothing. Bah! Bah! Meh. You are you sheep sheep? Are you not sheep man? Because sheep man could talk to me. Meh. And he's trying to shake his head. Yes, like he's. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> What's everyone else doing while this Max and Bill, I don't is know. going on? I don't know where sheep man went. This is sheep sheep. <laughs> Not sheep man. And you see, you see the sheep kind of shakes his head. <laughs> oh, the spell ran out. <laughs> <laughs> so my goal, my... goal, the spell ran out. It is same sheep. He just cannot speak. Sheep and goes. Around for, I'll look if around you are sheep, sheep. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. The sheep, sheep. He's gonna eat him. That's all. I'll look around for a speak with animal spell. You find one. Sweet. I will cast it so he can speak. Okay, so, so Gull, what'd you say Gull was going to do? Uh, I, if you, I, like, if you end up being a sheep sheep and not a sheep man, oh, yeah. I will eat you. Oh. <laughs> and you hear him go, ah, man, ah, and as soon as he finishes reading, that uh, two finishes reading here, no, 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 I'm, I'm sheep man, I'm sheep man. <laughs> Sheepman. No eating, no eating. I'm the sheep man. <laughs> and I'll look around to see if there's a revivify or raise dead scroll. Because this guy said he was a pretty powerful wizard. Mm-hmm. Any powerful wizard worth his salt's got to have that stuff and some maybe some magical components. Um, You look through it and it doesn't seem to be a ton of stuff tra- strangely in here. Um. Wizard. Yeah, I'm going to go in here and look at this door then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you have a way to bring back the dead? No, I, I don't. I don't. I, I don't. I'm sorry that, that you lost a friend. Uh, no, no being sorry about it. They're I can't, I can't do anything for this. you right now. Oh, well, when you get back, do you have a way to fix it? Uh, I mean, I mean, we can, we can take, take her back in the town and, and, I'm sure we can find a way to fix this yet. Yeah, yes. You will pay for it. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yes. Yep. <laughs> just just please bring me back to bring me back. Mm. 
So should I hit him and take away his hit points? Maybe <laughs> no. We'll change back? No, don't do that. I don't think that's how it works. How do we oh, change okay. it back? We killed Mook. Okay, so what <coughs> I need wand. you to do is is I need you to grab. You need to use the wand. But didn't he blow up the wand? <laughs> no, the wand is still there. Okay. Uh, all right, I'll pick up the wand. Okay. Um, let's see. Do you want to, are you just going to use it? Uh, I'll wait for him to give me some kind of instructions. Okay. Um, so he's, yeah, so he just says you got to cast it like a wand. That doesn't help. Have you never used a wand before? Look at me. I am Snake Man. You, you seem to be magical, Snake Man. I feel that <laughs> I can touch it. <sighs> Fine. I will use the wand and try to unpolymorph him. I need you to make an arcana check. Uh, one. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so you're able, you end up pointing it and you cast it and um, seemingly because it just failed, it seems to have uh, made it a little easier to cast a spell now out of it and and there you, you hit um what the fuck's his name now shine, shine bright you know with it and, and sheep man yeah sheep man and he you know he comes to and uh i'll just use i guess i'll just use this one Sheep, the sheep disappears and he turns into uh, an elf. What is he? An elven? Yeah. Where is it? He's an elven, old elven looking wizard. Um, your typical elven wizard. Say, uh, oh, thank, thank you so much. Um, Save it until we bring her back to life. Okay, can I, um, I just need my wand back, and we can head back, and we'll be good ah, to go. You get the wand back? I believe the wand was part of the deal. The, she, when you bring her back to life, I will give her the wand. It is a dangerous ah, item. Well, clearly, I know how to use it. I I can make it so it's safer for to use. Mm. I want the item back. I... You get it back, possibly, when you bring her back to life. Come on. And Gull goes, you listen to sick Snake Man, friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's going to do a... He's going to persuade... Like, he gets a persuasion check on it. What? I don't I'll know. I see pretty... Yeah. Stats. He doesn't have stats in here, so I'll just make it up. Uh, uh, so roll... What would you roll for it, I guess? Um, Where is a save? No, fuck that. You don't get no Christmas save on it. It's not going to be that easy. What? I mean, he's trying to convince a person who's very adamant on keeping Inside? this thing. Insight? Insight would be bad at it. Yeah, I'd say insight. Roll an insight check. I mean, I don't want to give it to him, however persuasive. That's he pretty is. good. Yeah, you can tell that he's got other motives if he got yeah. that one. Yeah. No. All right, I'm gonna walk up and grab him. Like, hey, where do we take him? Where, 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 where do we <laughs> take to lake. get our uh, person back from the dead? Um, well, well, I, I mean, I don't, I don't have, I don't have the means of doing it here. We'd, we'd have to go into town and and, and check to see. They... If... To, to, to today, Junior. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you're paying for it. Yeah, well, about the payment, um, I don't, I, I don't. I mean, we have to check. We have to look around here. There should be some money, um, somewhere around here. And I, and I sense that he, yeah, I was about to say, I, I sense that he had ulterior motives, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, just, just start stabbing him and beating him. Yeah. Him. Yeah, after that happens, I mean, you, yeah, you guys start to realize that he was going to tell you whatever he could do, tell you to get you to change him back. Um, 
and he was just going to hopefully get that wand back and you guys are going to leave peacefully. Uh, so essentially you guys beat the shit out of the guy. And I mean, I ain't sparing his are life. Are you trying to kill him? Yeah. Yeah. You fuck him up. Stab him to death. <laughs> he's, he's a weak, you know, he's weak from being polymorph for such a long Yeah. You guys, I mean, you don't even have to roll. You guys beat the fucking shit out of him. <laughs> I mean, uh, goal, yeah, goal starts to just smash. I'm just going to keep on stabbing. I too need to let out some anger, okay? Yeah, yeah that's cool. And goal, oh my goal God. is like, you know, Gallagher in his head. <laughs> you know, just, yeah, you guys fuck him. <laughs> the potential voice of reason's kind of dead at this moment, so. Yeah. Um. And then you guys, once you guys, you know, finish beating him to a bloody pulp, you end up, you know, this particular party ends up with a dead party member, a uh, wand of true polymorph. Um, and uh, if you did some searching, um, would, would you guys think this they would take this as their own home base? Well, first we'd search to see if there's any money or any actual scrolls that could help. No, because not we a damn thing. No, not a damn uh, thing. The, the, there is some. Um... Did your headset die? You're like really far away. Is that the better? Sorry. Yeah, oh, yeah. Better. Was it backwards? No, it. I tried. I hit. <laughs> it fell off my head, and the um the mic folded up. Oh, guys, okay. it folded up. Um. So what you guys would be able to find is there's some lab equipment and some arcane, <laughs> arcane paraphernalia. That you could sell for about a gold, a thousand gold pieces, um, but sort of short of that, there's not a whole hell of a lot of, you know, a stuff thousand in gold here. pieces. Yeah, so I um, I say we just take we just take that to the town, uh, look for this cleric if there is one. Yeah, I mean it could be it's it's gonna be a little rough. I mean you guys are not the friendliest of looking people, you know, to go into a civilized town. Now we're willing to pay big money, so, you know. Okay. So we'll say for the sake of it. Hey, uh, uh, okay, no, that's fair, that's fair. For any future... <laughs> we'll say for the sake of it, eventually you guys will be able to find somebody that you can pay off, bring Risney back alive. Um... You guys take take this tower as your own. All right. Um, you're still not sure exactly what town is close to you, but <laughs> that's fine. You, we, you don't we don't even care. know the town names. We just exactly. You know, it's close to a beach, so it's got to be. It, it's not like a city like the size of Waterdeep or Neverwinter or anything like right. that. But it's it's a decent sized town to be. You know, I guess equivalent. You know, like, I guess a medium-sized city, if you will. Like I said, not quite as big as Waterdeep or Neverwinter, but not quite as small as, like, a Fandown or anything like that. But, yeah, you'd find somebody that can do it, and you guys take this tower as your own. Nice. And then you get back on with relaxing. <laughs> yeah. Riz is probably like, gosh, guys, I told you not to do all that stupid cheap. Clay no, would like here. put a plaque here that said, "Here used to stand an outhouse until I blew it up." <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> and then, like right here, will be this is where I died. <laughs> Another plaque. Right? No, not even, it's not a plaque. It's like this chalk outline. Yes. <laughs> you draw the chalk outline of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then we'll just put your bed right there. <laughs> And by the way, I'm not going back to the beach. I don't even know why I went to the beach. <laughs> so I'm going to yeah. stay right here, just to let you know. I yeah, agree. Yeah, yeah. I, we'll let the stupid humans have the beach. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the only one that probably enjoyed it a little bit would have... Maybe Risney. But... Yeah, so there you go. That is our one oh, shot for the week. Bob. Huh? What reward do we get? For what? <laughs> for merciless stabbing him. You know, I'm going to change <laughs> gotta, that chaos and go all the way back to chaos neutral. 
Yeah. You got a true a true wand of polymorph. Yeah. Yeah, that's totally normal and never does anything wrong. <laughs> um, actually, I would say for the sake of this, may, why don't you guys make an arcana check, uh, being Risni and, and a two. Okay. Because you guys would have checked it out. I mean... You pro I mean, eventually you'd figure this out, yeah, and you guys, basically what you realize is there is, oh, I should probably check the charges. God damn it, I don't have a D4 out. <laughs> someone, can someone click the D4 button? Click the D4 button? Yeah, I got you. Oh, D3. And subtract one. Three. So three. It's got three total, it's got three charges on it. Um, and... It does cast the actual true polymorph spell. Um, you can cast on anybody, or it can be cast by anybody with a spell casting ability, as long as they're spent an hour returning to it. Resets at dawn. Um, in order to increase the amount of times the spell has been cast, the wand appears to have been fitted with a bulbous rune inscribed iron band and has cracks running along its length. If inspected, you guys found out when you, every time you use it, you have to pass a DC 17 arcana check. If the spell succeeds, the DC goes up by one. Oh. So as of right now, the DC is 18. If you fail, you get transmuted into a gibbering mouther. Which is what you've seen this guy transform into. So I could have been transformed into that. <laughs> yep. 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 And I was like, and Gull would totally be like, I'm out. <laughs> it happened. We're just yeah. leave. And and the thing is it you can't it cannot be the transformation cannot be undone by any spell lower than a knight. <laughs> what? And it cannot be cancelled by ending concentration. The target can make a saving throw against the effect in the same way they would against the regular casting of a true polymorph. If they fail by more than five, in addition to the above consequences, the wand explodes violently, dealing 1d12 force damage to all creatures at 10 feet for each charge remaining in the wand, and then that destroys the wand. Wow. <laughs> so. And look at that. I set up another potentially Bowie engagement that could happen. <laughs> meeting these weirdos or meeting the other weirdos. Yeah, there's a bunch of weirdos floating around that could come back. <laughs> Having Jarek Avercard show up would be interesting. <laughs> Just like the remainder of the group without uh, whatever considers his character. He was a wizard or something? Oh, that character's coming back. You believe me. Yeah, but the other okay, guys yeah, that, are probably like quest givers. Elselor. Elselor. I don't even remember what he grabbed. He grabbed, like, uh, some kind of thing. I know that's the thing that we needed. 